Okay, anime a la carte, episode 27, take one, go. That's not true. Do you know that? What? <laughs> do you know you said the wrong thing or did you intentionally you say the wrong thing? Everything I said was right. What do you think you said? I said anime a la carte, uh -huh. episode 27. They're both wrong. No, 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 no. It was, it was a mix. It was a crossover. Right. So it's, gotcha. it's anime a la carte, but also our episode number. Right. Now being in a crossover session. Gotcha. You're starting to understand where this is from 28. Here. This is <laughs> easy. It is. I'm literally the one who has to type this all into the YouTube yeah. like, live like broadcast as well. So that's kind of embarrassing. All right. Anime, all you can eat. Episode 28. Go. So for those of you who don't know, um, hello everybody. Hi. Uh, we, uh, and for those of you who don't know, hi. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, like, listen, nobody's greeted you today. Hello. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Um, for those of you who don't know what anime a la carte is, uh, me and Danny were actually just recently invited onto a little podcast. Uh, and that little podcast is hosted by a friend of ours, uh, Daniel Duenas. Uh, and it's kind of like a podcast. It's, it's more like a hot ones, well, but without the risk. Okay. Here's the thing. Yeah. So <laughs> Daniel Duenas, um, you guys probably like, he's not like, he's more involved in the creator space than mm -hmm. like, then like like he's more of a like he's an influencer's influencer right you know yeah, yeah. like influencers know him regular people don't yeah. they um, do they make art um mostly art yeah they're an artist on instagram and mm -hmm. such and so uh they're starting a podcast and oh i once again not even really a podcast but it was like uh, they cook for us and i got scones danny got pasta and we sit there and we talk for uh, for me it was an hour and a half for danny it was a half hour uh, i guess i'm just a more interesting guest yeah. um but and then after that you react to an episode of anime together yeah uh and it was I, the whole the whole thing made me feel bad about our production because here's the thing our podcast might look and, and sound a lot better than a lot of podcasts out there listen me and danny do have the correct equipment technically yeah technically we have the correct equipment but we don't have like three people that are like fully trained and shuffling. Yeah. Around. One of the dudes there had tape on the middle of his glass. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was fake. That's how you know he's a professional nerd. I didn't know. I didn't know that was a real thing. I've yeah. never seen a man with tape in the middle of I've his glasses. I've also never seen that. Is that truly when you break your glasses? Is that what that's for? I figured it was so like it doesn't slide down or something. Oh, but like, maybe. What, did like some like bully punch him directly <laughs> yeah. and then was like nerd and just like yeah like snapped his yeah. glasses. I don't know. And then he's like, I'll become stronger than yeah. ever before. Like, it, it was like he was. Like at Disney yeah. and like Prince Handsome or whatever punched yeah. him in the face or something. Yeah. I don't know any of the princes of yeah, Disney. Yeah, Prince Handsome. I, don't, I mean, they're all handsome -ish. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we went and there was like this full gaffing crew, like lighting it, uh, like taping yeah. things down. And I was like, <laughs> We have uh, we got we got two lights. We have a chandelier up top yeah. that you guys can't see. Uh, does absolutely nothing for us lighting wise. Actually, usually it's flickering. Me and Danny then have three cameras, which is actually yeah. it's better than we used to have. We We've be, always had three yeah, cameras. We always had three cameras. We've always had three cameras. They've always been a varying quality. <laughs> mm, you're right. We used to yeah. use we used to use my your Logitech my webcam. Yes, yeah. in the early days of our, it was yeah. my Logitech wide angle. And then we used Danny's in my camera. Mm -hmm. And now we're we're probably at the best full capacity of cameras. Like I don't ever see a need for us to upgrade the cameras that we have. They're looking good. They look fine. Yeah. So like, but like they had like these like seven thousand dollars. Yeah, they cameras. had like film cameras. And like, like the, the guys got like a sandbag on the back of it. Like that's my <laughs> counterbalance. And yeah. I'm like, just make a lighter <laughs> camera. I don't like why do, you, why do you need a fucking counterbalance? Yeah, just use a Nokia phone, my Dude, guy. That's the thing. Like yeah, like the Zoe ZV one or whatever we use is like two pounds. <laughs> Put it on a tripod and we're all fucking happy. But like it's like a professional <laughs> cooking show. Mm -hmm. The scones were very good. Daniel yeah, was obviously great. very sweet to us. It was it was cool. Yeah. Um, but made me very appreciative of the fact that we can both kind of shamble in and be like, all right, we gotta <laughs> the light on the lights. It's not it's not working. <laughs> Fuck who gives a shit? All right, we're just we're rolling. Yeah. Do you have news? You don't have news? Oh, we're already live. It's, Whatever. It's definitely a stark difference between like a literal Rachel Ray cooking show. Yeah. And whatever this is, mm -hmm. <laughs> like well, we we got comments actually about how we are constantly slandering Attack on Titan, mm -hmm. but because we are such sponsor shills, our main table is a big Attack on Titan one. Absolutely. <laughs> Listen, they don't know that. Yeah. You know, Secret Labs has watched this show. <laughs> no. My favorite me? my favorite part about this show is that you will sign us with sponsors and then be like, today's sponsor is so and so, and then like half an hour goes by and it's like, I fucking hate that product. They're that not thing sucks. Listening. <laughs> you tell them where the ad is and they're like, wow, good ad reads. We like, go sit down and listen to an hour and a half podcast and be like, oh, there's our ad. No. They'll be like, okay, cool. Here's the 
Yeah, and it's at m- minute 27. Yeah. You know, it's all like, because the, the podcast is fragmented up. They click to the ad, and they're like, all right, good job, and then they leave. I could be like, today's episode is sponsored by Factor, because they actually sponsor us. And yeah. then... And this isn't true. I actually very, I much, very much like. This is so Mid- dicey. But like, I, I could be like, I could be like, and then like, I could finish the, I could finish the ad read. Five minutes later, I could be like, microwaves are poison, and if you mm-hmm. use them, you're killing your family. Yeah. Like, and the, the ad would be approved every day yeah. of the week. Like that's the thing. Nobody's watching. Nobody's <laughs> some like things like BetterHelp. Like, yeah. Uh, like places like videos like BetterHelp and all of them will like they want your entire video with it because they want to be like. We're a mental health company. Like, and if your entire video is about like ways you could do it, you yeah. know, yeah. <laughs> like, they're going to be like, all right, maybe not yeah. the best. Uh, but yeah, so me and Danny are both on a podcast. We enjoyed ourselves. Uh, the videos will be up in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, so if you're, I mean, completely different vibe from this. Yeah. I, the, the reason I'm very comfortable talking about this, not that I don't want to support Daniel, but I'm just like, if you like this, it, it may not be your thing. You know? <laughs> if, it's like, what the hell was that? That's this little... Are you peeling tape off? I'm peeling tape off. I thought you, off. you done ripped your pants. So <laughs> I <laughs> wish, <laughs> dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> um... I know. Well, it's like, you know, it's like hot ones in the sense that you can kind of come for the guest. Yeah. So it's like, if you like Nick, you might like Nick's episode. Like, you probably will. You'll yeah. learn about Nick's life. He's funny. If you like me, you'll like my episode because I'm just cracking jokes. You're, just, I, you're cracking wise. You wouldn't know. You left I had, for mine. I had work to you do. You had work to do. You're a YouTuber. God damn it. Yeah. You okay. do work anytime you want. Okay. I woke up in the morning, had to be in OC, which is an hour away. Uh-huh. I had to cram it to my car, got to OC. I'm cram, so, what, cram your okay, little clown here's, car? Here, like, here's my dude, having to get in your car is not like and then Daniel, a part Dan- of a list. Oh, yeah, it absolutely was, because then I had to drive, I had to drive 50 miles. Uh-huh. I drive an electric car. I have a limited range. Oh, poor you. Yeah. Poor you and your fancy, oh. expensive electric car. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to save the world, uh, Daniel. That's why. So I, I, I clamor in, I get there at 10, like a good boy, because uh-huh. then Daniel's like, oh, you know, talent gets your 10, and I was like, that's me. I yeah. talent. Show starts at 11.30, yeah. and I was like, I could have filmed a YouTube video this morning. <laughs> so I get back at like 2.30, and I'm like, I was like, okay, I was being dramatic because I was done with work by like five. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I know. I was done with work by like five. And then I was like, all right, I'm going to go make dinner and walk the dogs. And then I get a text <laughs> from the carrot boys and they're like, everybody, every come over and played smash. And I was like, all right. And then I went and wow. played smash for like three hours. Wow. I had a great day. I, I went on Daniel's show like, or when you left, I was like, oh, I'm nervous. And they're like, why are you nervous? You're going to be so good at this. It's literally what you do. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no, I need to be the best. Yeah. I need my episode to be the one where people are like, oh, this is why you watch anime a la carte. Yeah. This is the you thing, know? like the thing that blew the 200 million yeah. view, like <laughs> Danny reacts to Wolf's I was like, rain. you don't understand. I'm coming with my A grade material comedy here. Yeah. Like, and what was very, which was very like nice for me to hear is that like we were the first like real weebs on the podcast because mm-hmm. he was like, Daniel watches a ton of anime, mm-hmm. ton of anime. So Daniel chose anime for the the first four guests, all yeah. of which he used to live with. So like we were the first non roommates invited yeah. to the podcast. We're also the first people who aren't like just famous for, for being hot. hot. Just, yeah. like, just like just a sick ass. Yeah. Like, listen, <laughs> I have a sick ass. Like don't yeah. get it twisted. But like I also like know things. Yeah. <laughs> And, like, it was funny because, like, he was, like, a lot of the point of the first four episodes was, like, cosplayers being, like, I'm more than my abs. Right, yeah. And it's, like. And then we're, like, I'm uh, less than my abs. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't have them. Yeah. I, listen, the day I get them, uh, listen, I, like, treat me like a piece of meat once yeah. I get there, you know? Like, oh, yeah. Once I get the ass of a, of a ginfluencer, <laughs> yeah. absolutely treat yeah. me like a piece of meat. If it gets me a million followers on Instagram, yeah. sure, I could give a shit. But, like, Daniel, like, let us both choose. So I chose Zetsuno Tempest or Blast of Tempest, which is, like, the Tempest, but anime and it's got a power system that like you can block bullet it's sick it's really good insane yeah, it's really good <laughs> it was nuts from the one episode that i it, saw from it you it is a straight up cut into 2013 yeah like it is a it is a full like blown like like time capsule of what 2013 anime was like it's like they're wearing like knee-high boots and like six jackets and yeah. scarves and they have like double ear piercings <laughs> and blonde hair and like, hell yeah it was nuts. It's like Shakespeare's The Tempest meets like Lovecraft. Yes. At the end, they introduce this giant like Susano like boulder with like mm. chains coming off of it. And with stuff. A, it's a giant meatball in the sky yeah. with an <laughs> like, eyeball on it. It yeah, was horrifying. Sick. It was absolutely. And the whole time you're like, it's The Tempest. Yeah. Like absolutely no, not. No, it's not. It, it, it's just like occasionally they'll quote The Tempest. Yeah. But it's still anime. They have to make it yeah. interesting somehow. And then you made him watch wolf's rain which the synopsis i got they made is, me watch wolf's rain oh you got chosen I, for wolf's yeah i'd never seen it before but you had 
t- you had all of the DVDs. Someone sent me the DVDs, and that's why I was like, what about this one? And Daniel was like, Wolf's Reign rules. We're watching that. Gotcha. Spoiler okay. for my best boy. Wolf's Reign rules. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. We did, uh, we did, our, we did our thing, and um, you should go watch it in a couple of weeks when it comes out. Go follow Anime a la carte. It's fantastic. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's our cold open. Yeah. I guess we'll keep you updated what's going on in our life. Outside of that, I mean, I guess there's one more thing to happen in our life. Um, I got, our I life. Got, yeah, I got, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen. Here, here's a big update on us. Nick got a tattoo again. Absolutely, <laughs> I did, ladies and gentlemen. I'm all wrapped up and I'm leaky. I filled in Noel, which is uh, kind of wild because apparently, according to the leaks in Black Clover, I haven't read them yet. Also, this episode comes out on the day that the Black Clover chapter actually comes out. So, like, I don't know what's happening in Black Clover, but apparently a lot of people are mad at the, the mangaka. But that... That was so goddamn fast. Uh-huh. And also, were you doing a pun? No. Because, wow. What? That was just so much. That was so fast and so much information. Because I was like, you were like, yeah, I'm leaking. And also there's Black Clover leaks. And I was like, oh, zing, Noel is leaking. What a good transition. And by the time that thought formed in my head, you were a mile away. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, did he do it on purpose? No. Yeah. I'm sorry like, to put listen, you on blast listen, like sometimes, that. But. Sometimes luck is where skill meets preparation, right? Yeah. So, like, I'm going to I'm gonna take that one, uh-huh. right? Yeah. yeah. We're, we're going to cut every part where you, you asked if I leaked. <laughs> yeah. If I, like, the leak thing was a pun, uh-huh. and we're just going to say it was. Absolutely. Yeah. But, yes, that's our cold open. Uh, I'm Nick, also known as NC Hammer 23 and I'm joined by, um, unfortunately, Piss Boy has died. Uh, <laughs> everyone loved Piss Boy, though. People loved it. I, People were so ready for me to be dead. Probably that was mo- fucked. Probably the most love we've ever gotten on the podcast <laughs> yeah. comments. Everyone was like, listen, yeah. rest in peace, Daniel, but Piss Boy yeah. likes JJK, so he gets to Yeah, stay. Piss Boy's here to stay. Mm-hmm. Thanks, everybody. Really appreciate that. So Piss Boy drowned in a pool of his own piss. Uh, uh, so unfortunately, we are now joined once wow, again. thanks. <laughs> yeah, by, by Dry Boy Dan. <laughs> exactly. That's what they call me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah. baby powder Daniel. Yeah. That's you. <laughs> um, so we got a lot of comments outside of the people like being pro Piss Boy. Yeah. Uh, and the biggest thing that people commented last week was that the, the low opacity thing is called ghosting. ghosting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's to prevent seizures. Ooh, where, where? Yeah. I don't want my country to get seizures. It looks bad, Japan. Mm-hmm. Cut that shit. Well, what's weird is that like rest of the rest of animation doesn't do that, right? Yeah. It's like so like. But it's because fucking Porygon ruined animation for Japan. Was it Porygon or Pikachu? It's Porygon. Porygon is one who gave everyone the strokes. Yeah, it, there's an episode of Pokemon. I was gonna say dive into it. That famously gave every child in Japan a seizure. It was like 3,000 children got like seizures. And then what was really funny about the story, because I just heard it retold recently, is that the episode airs like 600 kids get seizures from it because Porygon is like, like moving too just quick, flashing. It's just, it's just like six uninterrupted minutes of oh, just pouring on. Just, yes. <laughs> <laughs> nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Um, and so, and then a news outlet that night oh, was like shit. a news outlet takes the episode, yeah. the Porygon scene, and plays it once again. They're like, this scene is giving children seizures, and way more that's people so were watching funny. news, and so like two thousand more kids had seizures. Whoa, that's so funny. Yeah. That's like. That's like getting the footage of the ring and being like, this video's killing people. It Here people, it is in people full. Keep dying. Yeah, yeah, like, what are you doing, the Japanese news? Yeah, like, like, so, so that was, so like, that episode's now banned. Yeah. You can but, find it. You know what else is banned? What? Porygon. Like, as a general like, concept? He can't be, he hasn't been in the anime since. No way. Yeah. Like, Porygon's like, so, like, such a good Pokemon, too. People are just so, like, <laughs> Porygon, scarred by it. Porygon's Gen 1, right? Yeah. yeah, or two, I think two. It's a weird. Sp- I Porygon. Gen two was weird, also because yeah. people forget that like it kind of exists. What are the Gen two starters again? Um, Bailey or yeah, Chikorita, Torchic, um, the Totodile. Chikorita and Torchic were in the same one. No, not Torchic. Okay, uh, Cyndaquil. Gotcha. Oh my god! You see, and I love them. I love all those starters. Cyndaquil is Couldn't probably remember best fire starter of all time outside of Charmander. I would say. Wow, and I like Blaze again a lot. Totodile is also incredible. Totodile rules. I love all three of them. Chikorita. I Chikorita. Don't, I cool. don't remember Chikorita. She turns into Bayleaf. Turns into Meganium. Bayleaf. For some reason, Bayleaf and Chikorita are like that's the one where the second evolution sticks with me. Yeah. Because it's like the sassy little like, yeah like, gra- like grass blade. That's a good second evolution. Oh, it's a fantastic yeah. one. But like so many, I feel like nowadays their second evolution is like. Helamid. 
Like, I, just, like, I literally can't think of another. Like, obviously, there's like Charmander. Yeah. Bulbasaur. Wait, no. Wait. What are you trying v- to say? Venusaur? No. Ivysaur. Ivysaur. You don't even remember. I don't. The second evolution is Ivy- hard to remember. Ivysaur is not bad, though, because it's like just kind of a sexier Bulbasaur. It's just like it's Bulbasaur with a little more foliage, you know? What? What? Why would we what? use why would we use the word sexy? What? Like se- like a movie producer, you know? Like we got Bulbasaur, but make it sexy. <laughs> it's a give it's them a, tits. It's <laughs> <laughs> give them tits is what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, I got my three o'clock whore appointment. <laughs> <laughs> Glue a cabbage to her back. I want her to look like Venusaur. Get your hot niece in here. Glue a cabbage to her buns. Where are the vines? <laughs> we need the vines. Call her Ivy Zor. Oh, I don't even care. Jesus Kids will buy it. <laughs> Oh fuck, that's so stupid. Like, um, sir, so, sir, sir, what about War Turtle? Give him tits. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we. That's why we had to can Generation One and a Half. Every yeah, single like, second generation of Pokemon, yeah. and voluptuous movies. Instead of like Mega Evolutions, they just all <laughs> get tits. Huge Wampas. <laughs> <laughs> <We just, laughs> Every Mega Evolution comes with a new move. Yeah. Booby smack. It's yeah, Bulbasaur that. used spread my yams. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, Gotta yeah. spank them all. <laughs> Nick, you gotta interject fast because I'll keep going. This is why. This is why we're so opposite. Oh, from anime a la carte. Oh, my God. Not oh. my episode. <laughs> Nuts on my episode. Why? What did you Daniel, do? Daniel like brought out the sauce. He made me pasta. Uh-huh. Brought out the sauce and gave it a little smack on the bottom. Uh-huh. It made a heinous noise. <laughs> like a and, yeah, it yeah. Like a, yeah, it was like a whomp. And I was like, dude, you punished that fucking <laughs> jar. And they started laughing and I took it and I took the Alfredo and I just started giving it to him. Of course it was Alfredo. Yeah. You fucking... I love, course, I love that he made you pasta and chicken. Yeah. It's like, the only thing that you I were just like, I, There's a line in the sand. I mean, he made brie chicken nuggets. That'd have been good for you as well. They told me, they were like, I'm not making you chicken nuggets <clears> solely <throat> because I already did it's it for already brie. It's already happened. Yeah. yeah. Son of a bitch. Um, but yes, yeah, so ghosting, apparently. It's the stop oh, seizures. Yeah. We know this now. So we're learning. We're doing better. We're better podcasters I'm not, because I'm of I'm anti-ghosting forever. I, yeah. Get seizures. I, Grow or, up. Or just like have children like be like, hey, look away for this scene. You know, but like, like, like. Get your make your brain I like the fully idea developed. That a parent has to be like so on edge. <laughs> Stop. There's no warning yet. It's yeah. like, okay, okay, okay. Look away. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> it's like, uh, remember the old movies when they had like the three, two, one in the top corner to switch reels. <laughs> oh right? yeah, yeah. yeah. It like it's like three, two, one, one but it shows you time, <laughs> yeah. and it's like. <laughs> The root sandstorm also, starts playing. That would be so funny. But it's like also kind of like, what are children doing watching JJK? It's a violent show. I think you can get seizures at any age. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you outgrow it. I'm pretty sure you outgrow so. seizures. I don't think Tell so. Tell us in the chat, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Uh, can you can you get tougher than seizures? I'm pretty sure you can. I think at a certain point, like once your brain is fully developed, it's like, yeah, I think we're done here. Yeah. I think yeah, like yeah. Porygon can know. Listen, I'll, I'll go look at Porygon right now. You kidding <laughs> look me? Look at Porygon all day. Oh, I ain't no bitch. You know what we should do? For a Patreon episode, we should find the seizure yeah. episode and watch it. <laughs> For our first and last <laughs> Patreon so, episode. Dude, that would be so fun. Because like, like, what if only one of us gets a seizure? Yeah. What if it's me? I've been getting headaches recently. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That'd be sweet. My entire family's telling me, get a CAT scan, get a CAT scan. Yeah. Completely nope, forgetting the call. Nope. <laughs> nope, yeah. won't do it. Listen. I, I love like, yo, let's get seizures, dog. It's going <laughs> to be sweet. It. It's going to be God's sweet, head. dude. Listen, as long as somebody's recording. That's yeah. fine. Yo, we're like, we're going to be like on the way to the hospital and they'll be like, so uh, can you answer your questions about the victim? I'm like, hold on, I got to finish this edit real quick. Real listen, quick. you understand, like if we don't get this out today, it's going to like, yeah. the CPM is going to go way yeah, down. Yeah, Giguk's going to be all over this shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> I cannot have like, like Anime News Network reporting on this before <laughs> we get our video out, ladies and gentlemen, please. So yeah, we're yeah. better podcasters. Um, to get to talk about anime now, I mean, we're already are. This is like the fastest we've ever talked about anime. Uh, but there's a lot of anime that recently came back. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on in the anime space, and Record of Ragnarok came back. Right, it's season like, two. See, well, it's like ah, who it, cares? It, it's so AOT'd. Yeah. So season two was out. The first season was like Lubu versus I don't even fucking remember. I was like Lubu versus a guy, yeah. and then uh, like Zeus versus Adam, and it was like yeah. everyone's like this is a like literally just a it's like a screen show, like a, what yeah. is what is a what, slideshow? Slideshow, it's like yeah. a slideshow, and it's. <laughs> 
And like, okay, so season two comes out and we get- It's one of them screen shows you've those, been reading about. One of those moving pictures. <laughs> it's one of those, yeah, one of those moving pictures where you can watch boobs, but they jiggle now. But they jiggle, listen, we're getting 3D physics on titties <laughs> yeah. now. This is, this the entire video is just going to be called for, like- For listeners only, we're both miming a big cigar. A big old cigar. Mouth. I was actually going more like a, like a, a thin, cigarette. long cigarette. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like I'm like- um, You're my mistress. Absolutely. Yeah. So my grandmother actually used to, she used to smoke, like she had like the long black wow. filter that she put the cigarette in. Wow, what a classy day. The oh, town she, tart she was. Yeah, she was. <laughs> except like she got like lung cancer and died. So yeah. I was like, you know, good job, grandma. Well, you know, but she also happen. like seven hundred like other different types of cancer. Cause she was a nurse in World War Two. Gotcha. Yeah, so they were just like <laughs> grabbing like, his, cancer. They were like, they were like, is radiation bad? I don't know, nurse. How about you stand at every single X ray? Yeah. She was like. Yeah. Okay. How about how about you like give this guy surgery in Chernobyl? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, yeah. Oh yeah. Like, it, does anyone else taste spice? Like, <laughs> yeah. what's going on here? Uh, but so, Record of Ragnarok cam, comes back, and like season two, they do like um, Jack the Ripper versus Hercules, uh, which was insane. <laughs> what a fight! Jack what? the Ripper wins. Insane. Which is, which is nuts. Just like an, just like a serial killer. Yeah. They make him like a good guy. They make him like sexy. <laughs> and I'm like, I was like, this man just like fully killed sex yeah, workers. Just a real man who murdered sex workers. And, but like, like, it was like a long time ago, so it's fine. Yeah. But I was like, I was watching it, and I was like, what if like Jeffrey Dahmer was one of our heroes? Like, I was saying, so I'm watching Black Butler right mm -hmm. now for my channel. And I, like, just got to Jack the Ripper, mm -hmm. who is, like, a demon, whatever, a bunch of nonsense. Yeah. But, like, I I was saying the same thing where I'm like, it's funny how because enough time has passed, yeah. we're fine with Jack the Ripper being a silly, quirky, goofy anime plot. I feel like it's also because he's British. Like, like it's like it's just like oh I'm gonna stab you and you're like, <laughs> like okay fine yeah. like it's just there, it's just something like about a British accent like I get like they have road men but something yeah. about a British accent I'm just like you're so cute I, oh my God. I just think it's funny that like in a hundred years maybe we'll see in Record of Ragnarok season twelve yeah. like Poseidon versus Hitler like you know <laughs> I would I feel like it's a numbers game yeah because here's the thing Jack the Ripper. Like canonically, cano I, I hate that I do that now. Like when I'm actually talking about like canonically like, in like, the world. Yeah, like, like I'm talking yeah. about like history. I'm like it's yeah. canon. I god damn it, my brain is so broken. Uh, Jack the Ripper has like confirmed to kill four people, but people hypothesize he's killed more. So it's like not that bad. But you've got like Genghis Khan, who like murdered most of the planet, yeah. right, of the yeah. time, and yeah. he's still like a smite. Character, yeah, I think, and he's like, like, I think he actually is in Record of Ragnarok, like at least I briefly. Bet. Also, yeah. like JoJo's has already done it. Like, there's yeah. a character in season two of JoJo's that just is a member of the SS, yeah, and like is a good guy. Yeah, uh, what is his fucking name? I don't remember. It's like the blonde guy who turns into is a he cyborg. A good guy, yeah. Like, I don't on, remember that. Like, fights side by side yeah. with Jotaro and like that's so funny. Caesar and all of them. <laughs> he's just like he's like like has a hilarious German English accent. Yeah, and he's just like a cyborg. And he's trying to help them fight the vampires and the like you're a nazi but you're a good <laughs> yeah. guy and you're, everyone's you're like you're one of them good nazis yeah and you're like <laughs> i don't know if we should be doing this <laughs> yeah. it's very weird so it's like the line has already been crossed yeah. but like so now the second fight is buddha's fighting for the humans versus the seven lucky gods of japan and like it's a slideshow game oh, like yeah. there was times where jack the ripper versus hercules wasn't a slideshow but it was just really bad cgi this one is a slideshow again Damn. and the thing is it's so devastating with record of ragnarok because like Character design, premise, like, and, like, the fights in the manga are really good. Like, yeah. really good. So, like, I think genuinely, if it was adapted correctly, it could be the greatest fighting anime of all time. Yeah. But because Netflix got their fucking hands on it, it it's it's being ruined. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just, like, it's so, like, even, like, it manages, like, it's good enough that I watch it because the moments are really cool. And, like, the character design is really cool. And the universe they're building is really cool. Yeah. And the premise is cool. But, like... It's just like it's a fighting anime. Why are we not focused yeah. on animation? Yeah, like that's, that's so the most insane. Like, or at least choreography, because it's just like the animation isn't that bad. But it's just because it's like, oh, uh, yeah. it's like Buddha like stabbing ones and the, his sword gets stopped, and then it's like back up now, and then you get a, you get a fucking like a reaction from like Zeus and Odin and and Heimdall and right, everyone and right. like Aphrodite, whose entire character model is two stone models <laughs> holding up her massive tits. Yeah, and it's like I was like I don't need a reaction from every single person in the crowd every time there's a, like a punch, and I'm like oh it's so aggravating, and then I was like Baki also just came out. I don't even like Baki, and Baki is the better fighting anime this season. Yeah, it's like I don't know, I because I get that it's like to save money. Yeah. 
you would make so much money if it came out and yeah. it looked like JJK season two or it, like it doesn't even have to look like, it like, like one punch man yeah, like yeah make it look like a decent fight in Naruto yeah. like just yeah. like have like some semblance of choreography like a sword dodge like have like one character get stabbed at and like do a roll and like do a ju- like, like the Achilles like jump stab or something like it's not hard I'm not asking for like JJK level animation because that's like hard to do yeah but like have flow because like what they'll do is like they'll do the thing where like a character stabbing really fast and it'll just be a bunch of blades on screen right, right, and the right. character will just be like 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 <laughs> yeah. slight like slight dodges to the side and like a little cut on their cheek yeah. and I'm like this is the laziest form of animation yeah and what's crazy is like they only released four episodes mm. they released Buddha versus Zero Fuku and that's it yeah and it's been gone for six months whoa yeah what like What's happening? What are they just giving it it's to a bunch ne- of like college freshmen? It's like Netflix. It's yeah. Netflix has never done good animation ever. Like the best, like well, like outside of like no, like Japanese anime. Yeah. So like the first two seasons of Seven. But I don't Sins, think. But it's not Netflix. Isn't like I think paying it's for animation it to get studio. made. I don't know. I don't think so. You don't, they're just producing it. Yeah. They just like it gets made and they paid to put it on netflix i'm pretty sure you think so i think so i don't think i think netflix would really be like boastering about it because like everyone knows that like castlevania is like a netflix ass anime you know what i mean yeah so apparently the manga was adapted as an original net animation ona by graphonica and premiered on netflix june 2021 um the record writer is anime. Wait, anime is directed. No, yeah, Graphonica and Yumeta Company. Mm-hmm. I have no idea what that means. Um, but like, so it is like, but it is like only posted on Netflix. Yeah, like that's the thing. It's like a Netflix anime, right, right. and like Netflix animes are like historically poorly animated. So like, right. Baki was really good, like animation wise, until it got picked up by Netflix, and then right. the anime, like the oh, animation went way downhill. Yeah. and then Seven Deadly Sins was really good for the first two seasons, and then yeah. Became right. seven deadly frames. Yeah, I don't think Star Ocean looks very good from what it, like from the mm. bit I've seen. Really? I think so. I haven't seen like anything, but like I, everything like I've heard from the JoJo's like community, they it? love it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, Maybe never... I'm wrong. I don't know. I, I like the clips I've seen are very like slideshow ish. I feel like J, like I feel like JJB has always been that way yeah. though. It's like a stand and that's like, yeah. like, yeah, it's, like yeah. it's just like it's always been that way. So I think they're kind of used to it. Yeah. But like JJBA is like kind of also like it's not narrative. Like obviously it's a fighting anime. Yeah. Like it's like let's not like delude ourselves thinking JJBA is something complex and crazy. But like there's a universe built out. There's characters that are beloved. Like with with Record of Ragnarok, we get like four episodes with a character. And like you learn their backstory and all that. So like you're attached to certain characters, but like we're not building a universe here. It's yeah. a fucking tournament. Yeah, right. Like right. just just focus just, on the animation. Yeah, just make the fighting good. Like yeah. that's all that needs to be good. It's just so strange. It's such a weird, like out of touch decision to make. It's so weird. Cause like I just like and I'd rather have it not be animated now yeah. than be done poorly. Cause how many anime get like redone? Tokyo yeah, Ghoul, they no. fucked up. One of the most popular animes of all time. Dead. Never retouched. <laughs> yeah. And, like, people have been like, please, Mappa, like, reanimate it or something. Like, yeah. redo it. And, like, like even, like, Soul Eater, one of the most popular animes of all time. But they gave it a mon- an anime-only ending that nobody likes. And people are like, redo it. Give it the, like, the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood treatment. But it never happens. Yeah. Like, how many anime have been redone? Like, full metal. Hunter Hunter, Full Metal. Yep. Um, One Piece, right? One Piece got, like an HD gloss over, right? Well, I mean, like, they go back and do, like, a Blu-ray thing, yeah. But, I, I mean, no, but, like, aren't the early episodes of One Piece, like, they're kind of, like, touched up now? Are they? I think you were telling me that. Was I? Yeah, I think there's, like, a like a 2011 remaster. Probably. That kind of makes sense. I mean, it, like, it started in the 90s, and it's like, all right, listen, we want you to yeah. watch it. We don't want you, like, Maybe consuming terrible. But anyway, yeah, Hunter Hunter, Full Metal, uh, what was the one you said? Uh, Trigun. Trigun, yeah. yeah. Uh, but Trigun wasn't even like everyone loves Trigun. I think they just brought Trigun back because they're like money. Like yeah. it was like it's been a while, so like let's yeah, do it. True. Um, Berserk, kinda. But Berserk, every single time they try it, they're like, oh, that was worse than the last yeah. time. Like, <laughs> yeah, no one ever likes it. We cannot fucking figure yeah. this out. Veroni Kenshin is coming. It's a new season. It's not gonna be done. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they don't do it. No, and it I, doesn't happen. You get one shot. It like makes sense because it's like, I don't know, unless you're making like because Full Metal, it makes sense because the original so strayed yeah. from the manga mm-hmm. that it's like, 
Brotherhood is almost like a different plot entirely. Oh God, yeah. And like I get comments about the differences in the original mm-hmm. and they're wild. Like mm-hmm. there are so many differences. Mm-hmm. Like Mustang killed what's her face, uh, Winry's parents in the yeah. original mm-hmm. instead of Scar. Yeah. Nuts. Well, the entire power system operates differently yeah. too. Like the Philosopher's Stone is different. Like mm-hmm. the ending is different. Yeah. It's insane. So it's so that's like at least all entirely different. Whereas like if you were to redo like Naruto. I feel like it's a big risk because it's essentially just Naruto again, but without filler. People would watch in a, in a I'd watch it. Kai. I'd watch the hell out of that. Dragon Ball Kai? I know. I don't know if that did well. Did it not? I don't know. I, but also, Kai's like not even like a redo. Like, it's the same It's the same footage. They just like cut clean. It. They like yeah. cut it. They clean it up with like AI, like truly. Wait, actually? And like, like a mix of like, this yes. This is like long before AI. It's like, a pr- they like smooth it. Like, they do, like, a smoothing thing, which is why, like, people say Kai kind of looks bad because yeah. lines will literally, like, pop in and out. Like, outlines. That's so weird. Totally not Mark. Has, like, a whole series on it. Mm-hmm. And he talks about how, like, yeah, if you're watching Kai, it almost looks like someone went in in MS Paint mm-hmm. and, like, smoothed it all out because they were trying to get rid of, like, the grain. And so, like... I kind of like the grain of the original Dragon Ball. The grain looks good. Yeah. Like, they, uh, but so like outlines will, like pop in and out. So like some parts of them, like their skin color will just bleed into the background. That's so dumb. So Kai's like not a real remake. They like did redubbing, mm-hmm. um, but like same footage, just like glossed over a little. That's my thing. Cause like, I feel like if you're telling somebody to go back and watch Dragon Ball Z though, yeah. it's like watch Kai. It is like watch Kai. They yeah. take out some of the blood, which sucks, but like, why? I know it's annoying. I mean, it's, it's so funny. Cause like Japan is so weird about certain things. Like mm-hmm. exposure wise, it's like any body fluid. Like remember, like you ever seen like when they make like bodily fluid, like white. Cause it like can't be like red or something. <laughs> like, it happens a lot in spy family. It's so gross. It's like in like in like the modified yeah. version, it's white, and you're like, I feel it, like that's worse. It's so disgusting. Yeah. Make it any other color. And make it like, blue. Exactly. Like, like, like Anya covered in like like blood in a flashback, yeah. but they make it white, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. no. It's so terrible. It's um, not good. They do that in Chainsaw Man too, which is so gory that it's just it just the becomes version? porn. I feel like I definitely. I've seen I've seen like bits of that where like power is just covered in the white. Mm-hmm. Terrible. I, Absolutely terrible. Mm-hmm. Terrible, Nick. You wouldn't hear me complain. <laughs> Listen, that's all I'm going to say is you wouldn't hear me complain. Uh, but yeah, so like, I don't know. I just feel like it's annoying to see like anime get adapted in a way that's not up to par. Yeah. Because like you get excited about it and you're like, oh, this is our one shot and we're like, it's never going to. Yeah, play. you never only get one out. chance. Yeah. Which is, it's like, it's like tense, especially. And that's kind of why I'm into like new manga mm-hmm. because I'm like, I want to get in on this before the anime possibly ruins it. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, like Chainsaw Man with it not doing well in Japan, the anime. Yeah. And with the season two being in a weird like teeter totter area. Yeah. yeah. In a weird limbo, it's like, man, what a what a time to be alive when Chainsaw Man was like kind of at the peak of everyone's hype. Mm-hmm. And then now maybe season two is gonna suck or won't exist. You like, know what's crazy is I met a I met somebody, I don't remember I don't remember where I was, but I met somebody and they were like, I was like, oh you watch anime? And I was like, what are you watching right now? They're like, oh Chainsaw Man. They're like, I don't really like the adaptation. And I was like I was like, I, I, I knew you guys <laughs> yeah. existed. Like, yeah. but the style wasn't right. And I was like I was like trying to be polite. I was like, no, a lot of people feel that way. Yeah. And I was like, I knew they existed. I just never met you. You should have killed that guy. I, it was a you girl. Killed that, you should have killed that chick in I, broad daylight, just, Nick. <laughs> listen, officer, you need to understand she doesn't appreciate Mappa's art direction yeah. or chainsaw, man. He's like, all right. Yeah, and then the he cops. starts kicking her. Yeah, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> she's still breathing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, I really, really, I've got like my big tablet now mm-hmm. um, for reading because I had a tablet. You brought it. You came in like such I an. I, you came in like such an iPad baby in the Daniel's house. <laughs> I was like, I brought, I was like, you were like, yeah, what you reading? I was like, I got digital one piece. I got digital. <laughs> it's like it was very sticky. Yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> slapping it with my full open palm. Yeah, yeah. It's like trying to get to new new pages so you like, yeah. can't get your hand to move across it. Uh, yeah, I'm just like I read panels in between nin- uh, ninja flu. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I also got Geshe Impact on here. Yeah. Um, but like, um, yeah, so I really want to read Chainsaw Man mm. just to see Please do. what people are on about. I bought, I sh- I like regretted the purchase the second I walked out of Barnes and Noble, uh-huh. but I bought volumes two and three of Blue Lock just to see the difference. Gotcha. They didn't have volume one. Mm. Uh, I haven't read them yet, but okay. I like walked out and was like, 
I already know what's happening in these. Like, yeah. I, I just spent 30 bucks on, like, just on see. books I know. Could have, yeah. like, just bought one, too. Could have just read it in the Barnes & Noble. Like, just throw it. like, they're not going to yell at you. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. So, like, now you own them. Now you can add them to the shelves. Yeah, now I have them. It's another so. thing to move when you move in two months. I know. Like, at least you're not me. Yeah. Which, by the way, I don't know if you guys noticed, a lot of people have been commenting that the, the studio doesn't look as lively as it did before. And at least now, when you look at my camera, substantially more lively. And I feel like it's it's more lively for everyone, actually. I mean, We're Danny's, working on it. Da- Danny's corner is kind of hard to, like, customize. Because like, I got this whole situation. Yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of a weird situation, so, like, we don't really know what to do there. But, yeah, we get, no. We gotta get something right here, mm-hmm. and then that'll... Over Danny's corner. right shoulder. But yeah. my corner looks fantastic. You can understand why I prioritized, you know? Yeah. I put my I put my big old two hundred dollar print behind me here. It's by um oh God, what was his name? What was I got? Wow, you remember the price but not the name. It was one hundred and seventy eight dollars exactly. Wow, uh, I, I do not remember the name <laughs> at all. Uh, but yes, let's get on to the biggest news of the week. Obviously, yeah. Like with every week for the next twenty fucking weeks, <laughs> it's gonna be JJK. Yeah. Uh, JJK episode five, season two. Uh, uh, the last of heavenly delusion, not heavenly delusion. Oh, uh, wow. Christ. Uh, the is last there another hidden- anime perhaps you uh, want to talk about? Of course. The, the brain is all over the place today. The last of hidden inventory. Very, very oh, good. So good. It was such, so a, cool. like a, such a tone shift because obviously there's no like fights in this, but it's just yeah. like dealing with the repercussions of hidden inventory yeah. and like how it's affected Gojo and Ghetto. Yeah. And I saw something really cool at the end of Toji's fight in episode four. Um, I guess spoilers if you're not caught up, but at this point, if you're watching this, you probably are. Um, there's like a scene where obviously like Toji is telling Gojo about his son, Megami, and then Toji's curse crawls to Ghetto. Yeah. And so people are like, Toji gave Gojo his blessing and Ghetto his curse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't that kind of sick? <laughs> so Danny then also showed me an image That's of nice. today where it was like, the line cut into Gojo's yeah. chest and then it was like toad G and then the I was yeah. the cut. And then it was like get, or then it was like, um, Gojo. Gojo with the O that of the purple that like Gojo blew into Toji's chest. Yeah. That's a tough one to describe. That was really hard to describe, but I got it. I nailed it. Um, You're right. The names, man. Yeah. They're all four sucks. letters fucking it trips sucks. you up. Um, yeah, that blessing and curse thing, like kind of sick, fuck right? Fuck off. Like, yeah. Kind of sick. Um, right. That's so cool. This episode had such cool shit. Oh my God. Yeah. And it's, I want to read Jujutsu Kaisen two now, actually, because I want to see yeah. how I want it. Because again, this episode really highlights the change in direction. 100%. So much. And so I want to know what the manga is. Like, is the manga more season one or is it season two? Because that's my thing with Chainsaw Man. Where yeah. like, am I going to be disappointed with the manga? Cause everyone's like, the tone is different. And I like the tone of the anime. Yeah. So am I going to read Chainsaw Man and be like, oh, maybe this isn't as artsy and smart and cool as I thought it was. No, you're definitely with Chainsaw Man. It's more like a chaotic. Like, it's like a yeah. controlled tornado. Mm-hmm. And like, I feel like I, I don't know. I don't understand that sentimentality because I feel like the manga and the anime match up really well for Chainsaw Man. Oh, yeah. And like people are like, I like, I don't understand where the problems lie. Yeah, the, I, right. I genuinely, I genuinely, like, yeah. I, I don't think I've ever had anybody actually, like, you talk about how there's people yeah, out yeah. there who say it, but like, trash ne- taste are the people. I don't, I don't watch yeah. trash taste. Me neither. I yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, like, I don't, I don't watch trash taste. Yeah, yeah. And it's probably just a lot of people regurgitating their opinions. Yeah, like, that's just what happens. But like, I've never had somebody actually sit down and be like, this and this and this yeah, is right. why I don't like it. Because like, I, I've read the manga and I've watched the anime and, there feels like there's no separation to me. Right. Like it feels like a very good adaptation. It's hectic. Things explode. We cut things down the middle. Like the music direction is like, like strumming <laughs> bassy, you know, like it's like, it's chaotic yeah. as it should be with JJK. Yeah. It's kind of a weird one. Mm-hmm. So I like JJK's manga, every arc kind of has a tonal shift. Right. And in inventory, is supposed to give in the end, like in the beginning, it's supposed to be like, oh, Ghetto and Gojo are together. We're happy yeah. and all of that. And that's like them as children and like the promise of innocence and then like the loss of innocence. So like, I think it did a really good job of showing, like building the swell of emotion in the beginning and being like Gojo and Ghetto are slightly at odds, but like they still understand each other. Yeah. And then like key events throughout it, that did a really good job of breaking them apart and like how Toji is kind of the thing that set them on different paths. Yeah, yeah. So like, it's weird because I would say that the manga is actually more closely adapted, like frame for frame mm-hmm. season one. Right. But I would say the tonal shifts of like when I'm reading it, I'm like, this is how I felt 
are better encapsulated in season two. Gotcha. Like if you like, if you were to like take the manga and look at season one, you're like, there's that scene, there's that scene, there's that scene. Yeah, yeah. But season two takes creative direction with the scenes. Right. And then like, uses that creative direction to actually build the emotions that the manga is trying right. to make. Gotcha. I love it. Yeah. I just love it though. I, can I go over my little bullet Please. points of the coolest bits? Yes. The, this got so artsy mm -hmm. in such a cool way where ghetto is like, there's a bit where he's in the shower. Yes. Um, I, I had the shower scene was perfect <laughs> as a note. Yeah. The shower scene's so cool because mm -hmm. it like, he's in the shower. He's like, talking about i think the like dirty rag metaphor yeah. he loves going off on yeah absolutely loves talking about puke and shit i hate that whatever <laughs> <laughs> like, but um i hate that it comes up again it's like i don't know how many times i need like a yeah. dirty rag cover like i don't need does the he, image does he have to swallow the he yes. has to yeah. or else what I, he doesn't control them what if you just don't have a couple Pokemon. Just, yeah, just, Do you really got to catch them all? I get, well, the problem is like he has moves like Maximum Uzumaki that like yeah. make a big old swirl <laughs> of all of his curses yeah. and just like make a like a laser beam. Yeah. So the more curses, the stronger. But he just likes doing it then. I, you know, <laughs> it's like, a power thing. Yeah. It's like, do I need to run through the grass on the way to every single gym to level yeah. up my Pokemon to beat the gym trainer? Probably not. I'm already over leveled, but like I'd like to be higher. Well, but it's like, it's like playing Pokemon mm -hmm. and like catching every single Pokemon that you encounter and being like, like that's in, fair. Instead of running, instead of just pressing a and fighting it and then being like, I hate game freak. Yeah. And it's like, humans aren't making you swallow these things. Yeah. No one's making you. Do you know what it is? What? Ghetto's living the legends of Arceus. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. needs to catch like 1000 Bidoofs to finish <laughs> yeah. the, to finish the Pokemon. He's playing Pokemon go. <laughs> like exactly. Yeah. He's like uh, one of them. Will yeah. Be. He's shiny hunting. Yeah. That's yeah. like 3000 encounters. He's shiny hunting. Yeah. That's why. So I guess that's why, cause that was my only thing is it's like, I'm like, where did this hatred for humanity come from? It felt like it came out of nowhere. And I guess what I deduced and maybe I'm wrong okay. is that it came from he hates swallowing the curses. Like it sucks. And also he's seeing Gojo like become so strong. Becomes and he's the strongest. Yeah, yeah. He's like jealous of that. And so him doing this thing that he hates and it tastes awful to him for humans. He's like these fuckers, like mm -hmm. they don't know I'm doing this. They don't appreciate it. Why can't they fend for themselves? Yeah. And wouldn't it just be nice if I didn't have to do this? Is that kind of his motivation? It's more like, so ghetto's core like mm. tenant is protecting the weak right like right. his entire core tenant is protecting the weak but the problem is this season makes like the, the idea of who's weak switch for him right so there's a couple of things that we see in this episode that are really big key switching moments so like obviously rico gets shot yeah and it's kind of that moment that like the paint starts to get peeled for him where he realizes that even though non-sorcerers don't have the ability to see curses and don't have the ability to, you know, control curses or use the limitless or yeah. things like that. They have money and political power right. and like can hire people to kill innocents. And then like what they did, what was absolutely crazy and they haven't, they skipped it almost entirely is there's a scene in the manga and they only alluded to it in the anime. Yeah. Um, there's a scene in the manga where Gojo and Ghetto. So yeah, as I was saying, Ghetto realizes that like non-sorcerers have like the money and political power to protect themselves and like get what they want. Right. And what Ghetto realizes is that jujitsu sorcerers are the minority. They're like strong. They're stronger than your average human, but like humans are pack animals that have like this ability to garner massive amounts of power. So like losing Rico like makes him realize yeah. that. And then, like, he starts talking to Yuki. Yuki is a yeah, the girl. The blonde game. girl. Yeah, yeah, the special grade. And she's like, I want to address the cause. And it's at that point that he realizes that, like, oh, that's what I want as well. Like, I want to rid the world of cursed spirits. But, like, how do we do that? Like, yeah. But he wa he doesn't want to rid the world of cursed spirits for non-sorcerers. That's yeah. his real issue. Is The dichotomy in his soul is, like, I'm trying to understand who I want to protect. Sorcerers or non-sorcerers. Yeah. And in the shower scene, you see him start to realize that, like, he keeps saying... I told myself it's not uncommon what I saw yeah. and like all of these kinds of things. And it's like, I told myself I would be a powerful jujitsu sorcerer to save the weak. Yeah. And what he's realizing is like the two ways that Yuki points is protecting sorcerers or non-sorcerers. One is eliminating all non-sorcerers and the other is like dealing with his issues. Yeah. And so he decides to eliminate all non-sorcerers right. so he can save sorcerers because he loses Hybara, his, his under, his underclassman. Yeah. And he realizes 
there's no point in doing this if all I ever end up with is a pile of my comrades' bodies. Right. So, like, here we are struggling in silence because nobody knows. And, like, nobody knows about cursed spirits because yeah. we put up curtains. Other people can't see them, things like that. And then that's solidified by the point where um, – that's solidified by the point he goes to the village. And what is better explained in the manga but is kind of conceptually explained in the anime – is that the two the two little girls in that cage can see cursed spirits. Oh, but they told the people in the village they yeah. could see cursed spirits. So they could see the cursed spirit that was actually like killing the people in the village. Right. So everybody in the village assumed it was it the was girls them. who yeah, were doing yeah. it. But it wasn't them. So they threw them in a cage and yeah. they were beating on them. And so those were sorcerers. Yeah. And those are the sorcerers that are with Ghetto when in chapter zero. The two girls that are with him that are like on their oh, phones all the time. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. And so he's realizing like that's his solidifying moment of realizing we, the second that we establish that we are separate yeah. or different, like it's like the, the bent nail gets hammered. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and so it's like we are the weakened class, even though we're stronger, even though we have abilities that other yeah. people don't have. It's very similar to Magneto, like his stance. <laughs> yeah. Like it is. It's like very, it's yeah, like yeah, we, yeah. Are, we are the minority, but the powerful minority, but like the, the weak majority could suppress, like kill us if they wanted to in a heartbeat. So right. like, let's make the entire world mutant. So they all understand. Right. Um, and bigger than any of that, what I was talking about earlier before my camera shut off was there's this scene. Did you see the scene where there was a bunch of like the people, it was like blurry and there was like a bunch of people standing. It was like bluish. He would keep, he kept remembering it in the shower. It was like a bunch of smiling old dudes. Yeah. And it was like a, a fuzzy blue. Yeah, scene. Yeah, yeah. So after Rico dies in the manga, ghetto and Gojo like go into the star plasma vessel association and like they're all like laughing and clapping as yeah. they're like holding Rico's corpse. Mm -hmm. And Gojo's like, Do we kill them all? Yeah. Like Gojo's like, Let's, yeah, yeah. Gojo's like, Well, that happened last episode. Oh, did that? Yeah, yeah. At the end of the last episode, Gojo was like, Should we kill all of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And Ghetto's like, No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, so they did. Okay, I clearly missed that or something. Yeah. But that's like, so he keeps remembering that scene. And yeah. like, that's him. Like, so it's like he realizes that the majority are actually stronger. He realizes that suffering in silence gets us killed. And then he realizes that the second we stand out, we get like, like yeah. stigmatized against. And those yeah. three things make him realize that like, I'm going through this exercising of an absorbing for humanity. I need to be doing it for jujitsu sorcerers. Yeah. I don't know if a lot of that is conveyed, <laughs> mm -mm. like, which is, I guess my thing. It's a bit subliminal. Well, it's, yeah. But I mean, like, I don't know if the, like, the bit where you're like, oh, he realizes that like humans do have power and money and in this and that. Yeah. I don't think any of that's in the anime. No, not really. Well, it's well, not. It's so, so that's like kind of what I mean is that it's like his motivation comes out of nowhere, sort of. Well, the thing is, this is just because I've done like full character well, right. deep dives yeah. into ghetto. Like it's never like explicitly stated in the anime and the manga. Right. It's just like I've done like was Gojo, like was ghetto yeah, correct, yeah. like entire videos. Right. But so. In that case, in my review of this episode, yeah. though, like his switch to I'm going to kill humans. Yeah, I get it with the like when he sees those little girls like that all makes sense. Yeah. But pre that, I'm like, why? Why don't you like humans all of a sudden? And so my only deduction was that he doesn't like eating vomit for them. You like Rico getting shot by an organization that hired Toji didn't make I guess, that click for you. I guess like, I don't consider Toji a human. Well, is he's, what's it's, weird. It's who hired him. I guess That's so. The thing, Cause he's just, but he's does, get, does he know that? Yeah. He knows who hired him. Yeah. Because the member Gojo and ghetto go to the star plasma association. Oh, and they're like, Do we kill them all? Oh, cause they're like clapping. And also they knew the entire time that gotcha. the star plasma association were the people gunning for Rico. It was so confusing. The whole star plasma thing, mm -hmm. so complicated, like convoluted for me. Like, gotcha. Do you understand it? Like, no. <laughs> Let me, do I, should I do my thing? I'll just, no, that'll go on for like a half hour. <laughs> like, 30 seconds, I swear. You go on such rants. 30 seconds, I swear, I can go cover on. it. Star Plasma Association worships Tengen, the guy uh, who keeps all yeah, the barriers, yeah. Yeah. but they believe in a pure Tengen, so uh, they don't want Tengen to merge with anybody. They want Tengen to evolve, uh -huh. uh, which would just be like 500 years because he's immortal, yeah. 500 years of not merging with anybody. Yeah. So they hire Toji to kill Rico, mm -hmm. who would merge with him and make Tengen impure. They're a religious group. Mm -hmm. easy as that well right 
I, got, I go on rants. I got you do. People appreciate my rants. What do you think the past 10 minutes was? That was me explaining <laughs> you, the motivation. You explained the whole motivation. Yeah, but not in the like context of the episode. Yes, that's fair. Um, but so like, but anyway, what my original point was with the shower mm. scene, what was cool about it is he's in the shower and it's just this like long, long silence as like the water is like getting louder and louder. Yeah. And yeah, and he's saying some stuff that's like, he's just like some stuff where he's like, I'm just confused. I don't know this and that. And then there's a long silence and then it cuts to him. And then he goes like, damn monkeys. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck, that's good. It like, was sick. It, it, like the time, the silence mm -hmm. was so great because it's so like, you just feel it like, like just festering in him where he's like, yeah. he's like, no, like, like almost trying not to resort to that. And mm -hmm. then he just like comes out with it. And he's like these fucking humans. Exactly like, dude. And that's great. And then later when he's talking to that girl, uh, the blonde girl, like you hear the rain start I coming was about in to say. and just matching that sound. And like, they, and they start panning out and then like they slowly get closer and the rain sound gets yeah. louder. Like the more things begin yeah. to click in ghetto's brain. That's great. Yeah. I love, they do a shot where like she's talking and she's like, she tells them about like the option where it's like, you can protect essentially like the option of just protecting jujitsu sorcerers. Yeah. And then when she starts talking about like the option of like making all humans, like, or like protecting humans, essentially like that option. Mm -hmm. They do a shot where it's overhead and he's sitting on the bench and she's still next to him, but like a light fixture is covering her. So you can't see her. Oh, and, it, see, and it's like, that. it's like, yeah, it's like an overhead shot and you just see him because like this light fixture is like covering over her. And it's just like a great visual representation of like, he's not listening to this option. Yeah. And it's just sick. I didn't even see that. That's actually, that's kind of sick. What yeah. I really liked is when him and Yuki are sitting talking about Toji, mm -hmm. how he had like no cursed energy. They yeah. projected Toji on that. Yeah, that was right. Yeah. Like, to like project their thoughts. Yeah. So sick. That's super cool. I also love Gojo. Gojo's dynamic with Megumi mm -hmm. is really cool in this episode. Also, Megumi's hairstyle only works on a child. What do you, so you're saying now that he's an adult, it's weird? It was always weird. I okay. always thought Megumi looked dumb, but it, seeing him as a teen or like as a first grader yeah. rather in this, he looks so good looks and normal. Yeah. yeah, he looks but rad. Like, as an adult, you're like, how, like the practicality yeah. of that hair, like it's like the least logical hair I've ever seen outside yeah. of like Jotaro, whose hair is like part hat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like it's like, it's literally like it goes hat straight to hair. And so that is like, cause like, if you saw that in real life, yeah. you'd be like, how did you do that? He looks like Reese from Malcolm in the Middle. You know what he looks like? He looks like the main character from Promise Neverland. The boy. Yes. No, wait, the girl. Which one? I don't one? think he looks like either of them. The one with, she's got the, she's got oh, the. Oh, Ray? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ray, she's got the, a she's little. Got the swoops. He, Ray. Ray? Yeah. No, you're talking about the one with black hair. I'm talking about the one with the orange hair. <laughs> I, think oh. I'm I, think I'm oh. talking about, I think I'm talking about the orange hair girl. Okay. Let me look. Let, yeah, let me look this show up. me. What's her name? Like Anna or something? Or like uh, something, something like, like that. that? Oh no! Yeah, it's definitely her. Look. What's her she name? She got all the swoops. Ray's hair is like flat. Yeah. Anna's got all the. We're going with this Anna. looks nothing like. It. It's got all the swoops. <laughs> no. Listen. But he's like, he looks like a sea urchin. Oh my god, he does look like a yeah, sea urchin. Yeah, he looks You're like right. a sea urchin. But anyway, uh -huh. um, Gojo's relationship with him is really cool because it's like. Gojo is still nuts a little. Like oh, Gojo yeah. is so he never he never goes away. I know, but in season one, mm -hmm. it seems like a quirkiness mm -hmm. and like an overconfidence because he's essentially immortal. Yeah. But in this, it's more of an insanity mm -hmm. where he's like, I like that he's like, goes up to Megumi and he's like, by the way, I knew your dad. I kill, and then he cuts him off and he's like, yeah. I don't want to hear. I don't care. And then Gojo's like. All right, but if you ever want to know, I'll tell you. Like yeah. he's like hyped to tell this kid that he that killed, he his, killed dad. his dad. Yeah, and I think it's like I think Gojo hates Megumi a little, but in a like, hear me out. No, it's it's crazy considering what's happening in the manga right now. Yeah. It's it's kind of wild that you say that. Well, because I like it's pretty obvious. I like that the relationship is that he's like as an added 
insult. Like, mm-hmm. Gojo's on his god complex right now, where yeah. he's like, this guy tried to kill me. I came back from that. I cannot be killed. Yeah. Like, how dare this guy get so close? And yeah. so now, after I killed him, I'm gonna fucking mentor and become his, like, kid's father. Yeah. And so it's like, Gojo's on this bit of, like, a power trip, where he's mm. like, I'm going to be your new dad, and, like, at a moment's notice, I'm going to brag about being the one who killed your dad. It's just crazy that you say, like, because, like, with that sent that sentiment very much lines up with what's going on in the manga currently. Sick. And it's weird because it, that's not how I ever would have thought about the situation. But looking at the situation through the eyes mm-hmm. of Gojo doesn't like Megami. He's just raising him as, like, a get back at Toji yeah. is interesting it feels like a power trip like that's what's so i don't know like some of the lines i don't remember them like specifically but Mm -hmm. yeah there's just like way like lines and ways he's saying them that is very just like yeah like he's like yeah i killed your father like now you're mine you Mm -hmm. know and then he was like oh yeah you're coming to the academy and he's like well who's gonna keep an eye on sumiki and he was like like, nobody nobody yeah Yeah. and it's like and he says it's so sharp and he's like he's like will someone make sure that she's okay and he's like Like, no a hundred percent not yeah and like it just gives him no option like it's so cool i love that gojo is on his villain arc and he will remain to be so on that villain arc for the entire rest of the show uh, Gojo I love that. takes a big step forward as a character in the Shibuya incident and then and then takes a, a big <laughs> step backwards as a character. That's uh, so high. And, and then is now once again very prevalent, is the main character right yeah. now in the manga, pretty much. It's so weird that there's no correlation between Chainsaw Man and Jujutsu Kaisen. What do you mean? Like neither of them are inspired by the other. It's so weird because Gojo is such a Makima where it's like this badass please go off this badass op mentor who is clearly just evil and uh-huh. like like psychotic you know what i mean no i i understand the correlation is you're making it i've just never even been like oh gojo and makima <laughs> same person they're just i mean not in the sense that i'm like oh everybody Makima's- wants to fuck them yeah yes yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah like, actually yeah but like not even in the sense that i'm like oh chainsaw man's just a better jujutsu guys and like blah mm-hmm. blah like which are points i've made before yeah. <laughs> but like um but in yeah in the sense that i'm just surprised that it's not like they're very similar in the role of like oh I see why the characters look up to them because they're so powerful, they're so confident, and they give them affirmation. Yeah. But it's so clear Gojo and Makima are manipulating the their entire students. situation around. Yeah, them. exactly. I would I would rally against it because I believe Gojo actually has some love for the people right. around him. Yeah. Makima does not. Right. Uh, yeah. Like Gojo, like actually, like I think Gojo. But once again, it's so weird because like what's happening in the in the manga right now is like. I, it's mean it's yeah. not like it's, but it's not intentionally it's not like gojo's fault but the way he's responding to it is right. like, but i think it's like he's doing that because of the context that he's in but mm. he's like i don't really give a shit yeah you know but like the way he like treats yuji and like ah, man it's weird though because like there's times where he's found out about certain things and you're like i feel like you should be more distraught considering the situation right. but yeah it's just wild that you say that because like i just never really thought about those two being connected but like with the way that the manga is currently heading genuinely there's no knowing <laughs> yeah i the only other thing about this episode that mm-hmm. i had notes on is oh wait i'm stepping on the plug again Please is, don't. <laughs> is that um for those of you a little a little behind the scenes here danny just unplugged <laughs> everything by stepping on the plug everything so, yeah because of the great design of our secret lab's desk, um, I have a plug sturdy, just plugged right into the leg of the desk. If I could, right for me to step on. If I could absolutely defend secret labs here, uh, you're you're usually supposed to sit like on this area. Yeah, of that's the desk. fair. It's not usually supposed to be like kept like a Victorian dinner table. Look at you defending a sponsor for once. Yeah, look at me. Yeah. Listen, yeah, secret labs. Send us another desk. I don't know. We'll fucking we'll stack them on top of each other <laughs> or something. Oh my god, can you imagine a full battle desk? Yeah, mega desk, that battle would, desk, mega desk would be sick yeah. and then we'll get like six more like six more mics get some girls in here yeah but are hey, you watch anime They're and like, we'll no. just lay into it was be like listen here's what i think yeah. about you liking anime you yeah. don't get the right like stuff yeah. like that how That'd many awesome. boobs should your typical pokemon have That's what I, <laughs> if it's less than three it's not yeah. for me if you know what i mean <laughs> but um my last note of the episode mm-hmm. that no one's gonna like okay is I was like, because before I was like, you know, I'm loving the season. And mm-hmm. this episode, like, I agree with you. This season 
best anime of the year. Easily. Like, incredible. If it keeps up at this pace, like, it's going with, like, Chainsaw Man for me. Genuinely. Like, it's, I love it so much. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? Like, season one I didn't love because I don't like Yuji. Didn't really like Megumi. And, like, but maybe new art style, new direction, new feels like writing. Like, maybe I'll get one over. At the end of this episode, Yuji and the gang show up. Mm -hmm. And my body just went... Oh, you guys! God, <laughs> like, I was damn like, it! I was like, oh, these guys. You just want you just want Gojo the story. I just don't like any of them. Yeah, <laughs> I welcome, don't like looking at them anymore. That's like the entire JJK fan base. Really? Like, it's, Gojo has been the most popular character in JJK for as long as JJK has existed. Yeah, it's like he is number one. Will always be number one. So much so that the writer, the author of the story, doesn't like him. Because he's like, we get it, guys. You all love him. But I'm trying yeah. to write a story about Yuji. And everyone's like, bring Gojo back. Yeah. Bring Gojo. And everyone's like, please, stop. <laughs> he's not the main character. And he's broken. He figures everything out, like, immediately. He's yeah. not an interesting character. But, like, so, like, the manga is currently focused, like, entirely around Gojo, which is noise. Yeah. But, like, it's weird, though, because to, to harp on something I talked about today on TikTok, um, it's... JJK is a weird example in modern shonen where the main character isn't even the top 10 of strength. Like the main character <laughs> is a conduit for the story yeah. to be told around them, but that's it. Well, but Sekuna's like the top 10 of strength. Yeah. He's like as strong as Gojo, isn't he? I f- forgot something happened. Never mind. We're not yeah. going to talk about it. Never get you're you're right. You're you're right. You're Sukuna so is very bad. powerful. You're so I'm, bad. I'm not listen. You're terrible. I haven't said anything. Uh-huh. I've said zero Your things. silence speaks volumes. I, I'm, I stumbled, okay? Uh, I, didn't, I didn't say anything. Listen, Daniel said I did a really good job. I'm not spoiling anything. No, he didn't. It was sarcastic. He was like, you're terrible. You're so bad with spoilers. I'm pretty sure he said I was good at it. No. For sure. <laughs> that didn't happen. You see the beauty of having like your control of your own mind? He just, <laughs> yeah. just makes shit up. Uh-huh, he just I be like, oh so. man, Daniel was like, you don't spoil anything and I love you. And then you God. I I hate that you were there. Should we move on? Absolutely we <laughs> should. Um so outside of that, so outside of Gojo and you know, ghetto and all of that, we had two more other episodes. I want to talk briefly about Bleach, uh, just because Bleach sure. is going kind of crazy. Um, mostly just because Bleach had one of its most iconic scenes that's like talked about in like all of the Bleach community. There's a captain. Oh, yeah. In Bleach of yeah. the of the Gote Thirteen, and he is a were dog kind of guy. <laughs> okay. okay, like he's like a not big, a werewolf. No, he's like a fox. I okay, think. Uh, but like he is he is well he is technically a wolf. Yeah, but like he looks more like a fox mm, when he's like technically a wolf. Mm, it's hardly a wolf. Yeah, well, like <laughs> yeah, it's like he's like seven foot tall. And yeah, he's like he wears like a bucket because he's a wolf, like a wolf, and he's like I don't want to show my wolf face. Where's um, a bucket? Like a bucket, like helmet. for his head. Yeah, yeah everybody <laughs> calls him like a bucket, but it's like a big old like like okay. medieval helmet. Yeah, uh, but and he's he, just got a big fox face kind of yeah okay. and he does this thing where he gets a human form for a little bit well he has his human form he's immortal and it's crazy but the problem is when he's in his human form he's really hot and okay. so everybody was always like anybody whenever they're talking about the doggy captain and just like you know he's he's hot you know yeah. and then he turns back into a wolf so like i just wanted like because we haven't talked that much about bleach i wanted to talk about the fact that you know we got hot doggy captain scene nice. which you know the what's fan his base, name uh that's a really that's a really good what question. What do I look up? Hot dog captain it, bleach. Legitimately, if you just look up dog captain bleach, you'll find it. Um, dog captain bleach. Oh, uh, yeah, Sajin uh, Kumamura. Yeah, I typed in hot dog character and mm-hmm. that came up. So, like, you could see how you would get fox from that, right? Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's like, but he is a werewolf. He's from a werewolf clan, but he abandons the werewolves to be a uh, member of the Serate. But have, have you seen his human form? Y- yeah. I, 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 that sounds like a lie. It sounds like you're lying to me currently. This one? Yes. This guy's hotter as a wolf. What? What do you mean? <laughs> like, this guy's so... This dude coming in with his furry-ass forearms. This guy's got hairier... Don't you look at me like that, Nick. Oh, look, look, Don't you look little at little me like that. Kettle calling the pot black over there. <laughs> this guy's forearms are hairier than mine. Yeah, because you this, shave now. This guy's got a huge, like, patch of grass on his forearms. Daniel. There's one of our incredible Discord members currently making a manga for the two of us, and your (laughs) powers are wig arm related. And this guy's got mutton chops and little dog ears. This guy is not hot. Bitches love dog ears. I so much would prefer just this big old dog. You just either either go all dog or no dog. Here's here's my thing. Here you're judging him for being furry. The dog is much furrier. 
But like, at least I know what I'm getting with this. It's less gross when it's a dog. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Listen. No! I think it's a better looking dog than a man. Because he's cute. He's got a little snoot. The dog or the man? The dog is cuter than the man. It's not about being sexy. We're looking for sex appeal. This is not a sexy man. This guy looks like he reeks. He's like six five and ripped. This is a musky looking man. And listen, the entire- He's got just a big like patch, just a carpet on his chest. So do I. No, you We're don't. We're both hairy. No, you don't. I can see skin. You can't see skin on this guy. He's just deeply Italian. He, it looks like I'd go, like, go to his home. He never left the motherland. It looks like I'd go to his home and like wipe my shoes off on his chest. I listen. Some people might be into that. Ugh. Listen. So it's a big scene in Bleach because Doggy Captain gets hot for a little while, and then he reverts from werewolf to just straight up wolf. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's like all three stages of furry in one guy. Because yeah. obviously, you know, some people prefer you know the big old dog. Don't you and point then, at me? And then it's you, you <laughs> literally just said it. And then there's the man with dog ears. Yeah. And then there's literally just a wolf. And it's like what stage of like late stage capitalism? It's like what stage of furry are you? Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's like me. I'm a zoo furry. Which is something I've realized recently. Is it from One Piece? From One Piece. Because, like, here's the thing. You're so weird. Here's the thing. I look at Haru. I'm over here saying that I'm attracted to an actual just dog in a jacket. Yeah. And yet you're still the weird one. No! Yes. Because here's the thing, yeah. Daniel. Everything about the the, the mink tribe from Zoe yeah. is human except for, like, a little bit of their face and a tail. I can live with that. You know what I think it is? I think I would enjoy a tail. You know what? I think I'm maybe the least furry person there is. Now, because here's the thing, Nick. (laughs) (laughs) Here's the thing is because I think what's tripping me up is I'm like, I like Haru over Zoe or whatever her name is. Because, because I think I'm like, oh, rabbits are cute. Like that's cute. But me, I don't think I'm actually attracted to Haru. I think I'm just like, this is a cute looking rabbit like i like her in the way you that just i want to protect her i just want to protect her i just want to give her a you pet. are so legacy coded i just want to give her a pet so legacy coded but then you get this weird hybrid person dog thing and i'm like You're talking uncanny valley yeah and i'm like this thing's gross she looks like the grinch the gym carries the grinch do you know how many people would Fuck the Grinch, dude. <laughs> you know how many people would fuck you? Should, fuck you would Grinch. fuck and you suck and fuck the <laughs> Grinch. Like Lola Folio Scumpy. Like, dude, like, I bet you if you polled your fan, the fan yeah. base tomorrow, more than 50% would say they would fuck the Grinch. Well, it's because he's, like, charismatic and charming. Yeah. That's <laughs> what that matters, baby. Yeah. Listen, baby. And so are the minks. <laughs> They're gross. Listen, I, they're I, just I, gross. I think that's the thing. I'm not attracted to like a Haru or a Legoshi, but I'm more cool with it because I'm like, oh, it's just a, it's just a cat. It's like I like dogs, and I, uh, this is just a dog standing up. I wouldn't bang him, but I also wouldn't bang. That's what we're talking about. The half one. We're talking about fucking here. I think I've just had. I didn't have my awakening, but I had my sleepening. I think I've, I'm closing the book. You're on, closing the door. I'm closing so, the so door. So you're trying to reverse your fate here. Yeah. You're trying to make me seem like the furry in this. Which you are. I and listen. I literally got a, I, somebody of oh, like a million people tagged me in this TikTok yeah. and would be like, "I'm not a furry, <laughs> but like if you put me on Zo, I swear to God, you'd have to chain me to a tree." Anyone tagging you in "I'm not a furry, but" mm-hmm. content, that's a furry. I'll take it. You're a furry. I'll take it. Yeah. I literally, there's a video sitting in my drafts right now. It's like explaining how, like, I don't find Haru attractive, but like, I do find like Tristan and yeah. Wanda attractive from Zell. Uh-huh. That's where, listen, because like they're 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 five and a half foot tall. Yeah, they got tickle bitties and they got <laughs> hair. That's uh-huh. the thing. Haru doesn't have hair. She just has ears. Haru's got fur. Yeah, Haru's nothing but hair. But on Zo, the animal people have hair. Why do you want a dog with hair? Because it's less dog like, Danny. <laughs> it's so weird. They're more human. It's so strange. All th- listen, you just all you have to do is cover the face. That's it. Uh, and then it's just a and woman. And then you just got a furry woman. What? Yeah, with like good jubel D's. Harry. With Nami's body. Don't look at me. I've got nothing more to say to you. <laughs> I fucking, you disgust me. You disgust me. All right, fine. That's all I had on Bleach. Uh-huh. Um, did you? Are you caught up with Psalm 100? <laughs> no, but I watched episode two. You you were on episode three yesterday. I'm on episode three. Okay, I was well, gonna say. Well, but I watch. I'm halfway through episode three. Okay. I didn't have time. I did all Daniel's thing, and then I had to go meet with the writer of the upcoming X-Men show. I got drinks with the writer of... Way to bury that fucking lead. Well, you know, 
I guess not strikes. It's not struck because it's animated. Is that uh, how that works? I found out all animated stuff is technically not struck because it's tag, the animation guild, and they're not striking. Hell so, yeah, baby. So this, I love Avatar. <laughs> so this guy, yeah, I can finally come out. I'm free again. So this guy, because he's a writer, he's not an animator. Mm -hmm. And I was like, how are you working? And he's like, it's with tag. It's with the animation guild. Animators aren't striking. Like, people writing on animated work aren't striking. Crazy. Which is crazy. It's wild. I don't know if they're paid well. Probably but not. Like, no. Yeah, but um, but anyway, that's what I did after Daniel's saying and why I'm not caught up on ZOM 100. However... Do you care to extrapolate on the conversation? Why were you there? I... He's also... So he's the short film director of one of the short films I promoted, Deep End. On my TikTok, I've been, like, just promoting short films because I'm like... These deserve more views. Yeah. Um, and they're good. And so the short film Deep End, I promoted. It bangs. It's sick. It's like, what if swimming pools were scary? Yeah. Uh, and he emailed me and he was like, hey, thanks. My YouTube video got like 70,000 views in a day from your TikTok. Oh, my God. And I was like, dope, man. We should get drinks sometime. And so him, me, and then my other friend who's like a massive horror, like, YouTube short content creator. Okay. He made Portrait of God, 2 million views on YouTube. Uh, Dylan Clark. We all got drinks and chatted. And then halfway through, he was like, yeah, I'm writing X-Men. The upcoming animated X-Men thing. And you're like, do you need any voice work? Because like... I, I was like, please, mister. I mean, yeah, like, do you have a deeply Italian yeah. character who keeps talking about tits yeah. on Pokemon? I was like, listen, I can make or break this upcoming show. You've seen my power with Deep End. I will, <laughs> like, be, I will be your teenage Kraken fucking yeah, like, influencer put in here, baby. Yeah, like, get true. me in there. I will, ever, I will be a shill. Yeah. I will be an absolute mm. shill. I love that for you. Mm -hmm. So like, we're an X-Men now? Yeah, so we're an X-Men. Hell I'm, yeah, I'm, ladies uh, and gentlemen. Some, like, some character, like Badger or like Wolverine or mm, something like that. No, I think some, it's uh, Honey Badger is, yeah. the, is the one you're looking for. Yeah, I think it's Tasmanian Tasmanian man. Badger, yeah. Yeah, it's Tasmanian Man. And I think I was uh, two eyes? Yeah. Like two, two one <laughs> yeah, definitely uh, has both of his a eyes. Man, a man with all the powers of uh, having two eyes. He has his <laughs> yeah. uh, die clops, that's what yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm die clops. Couple of clops. clops. <laughs> yeah, a, grouping, a grouping of clops. Yeah. Yes, that's me. Yeah. Uh, that's fucking sick. So that was cool. Um, but anyway, Zom 100, Zom 100 got through episode two. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. Really cool yeah. show. I like that. It stays really hyper stylized. Like yeah. he throws his boss out the window and it's this crazy, like Bakugo looking like yeah. all these like impact frames. And then he just launches him out. Yeah. Really and cool. And it cuts back to like his rugby days and all that. Like I, do that I was going like, to say, I cuts. like how it's like. I have super strength because I played rugby. Yeah, like <laughs> four years ago. Like, yeah, he was like, yeah, like, oh, he's like, I haven't worked out in three years. And he's like, you're yeah. a small dude. Yeah. Like, just because you know how to tackle somebody. Like, that's like a 300-pound yeah. man running you into as a zombie. You worked at, like, a marketing firm for yeah. three years. Like, and, like, and didn't be, sleep or eat. Yeah, yeah, because you played rugby in college. Yeah, you're, like, you're the superhuman. Like, ripped. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you got to episode three. So have you gotten to his friend yet, Tencho? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm halfway through episode three. It's a good episode. Yeah, it's, it's a, good. It ends very, like, a emotionally episode four is funny but fucked yeah it's uh, <laughs> it's like a lot we'll be caught up because news mm -hmm. uh episode five is delayed a week yeah it's not till august tw uh, 13th or something like yeah, that yeah which is like then more how? than a week like two weeks how so uh, early i don't understand how the animation industry works i'm being frank gotcha. because we were talking the other day about how yeah, are they pounding these episodes out like weekly yeah like the dub, we saw the dub voice cast at Anime Expo. Yeah. And they were asking them questions and they were like, so what, like, what's your favorite part about the show so far? And they're like, well, we've only voiced the trailer so far. Just why, why not? Like, why are we yeah. not getting this done? Like, why? Don't what we... are you doing at Anime Expo? Go what? get in the fucking get booth, the booth, my guy. Like, like, get 12 episodes done yeah. and then put them out weekly. I don't like, why are we, why are we pushing the envelope yeah. here? Why are these not done? Start Wait earlier. until it's done. Yeah. It's so weird. Like, I don't get like, they're like, oh, like it's delayed. Like, I, I figured if you start the season, all 12 episodes are done. Yeah. Like, I understand manga. Manga being pushed is obvious. Like, like, like obviously like oda needs to do a chapter yeah. a week right yeah like yeah. he needs to get his chapters done in a couple of days then you get edited drawn like and then it pushed out but like yeah. anime there's no timeline it's not <laughs> yeah. this weekly like uh, there was no zom 100 before two or three weeks ago yeah like i like 
announce it. You announce it like a year ago. Yeah. Get it done. Yeah. Make the episodes. Make the episodes. Yeah. Have them be dubbed. It's I don't so get, weird. I don't care what dubs don't come out simultaneously either. I don't know. I guess the animation needs to be done. I don't know. Uh, but like, once again, like, yeah, same with give, the regular give the episode one. to yeah. the English dub actors. Yeah. Have them dub it while the Japanese voice actors are dubbing it. Easy as that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get why it's not simultaneous. I don't know. And it's, it's not even just strange. like, a, like a, not even like a, just an English thing, like German dub. Send French it to dub. everyone. Yeah. Literally just be like, hey, here's the script. Here's like the general frame. Edit the mouths around it. Yeah. Put it all out on the same day. I know. I don't know why they're working on like a YouTuber schedule. <laughs> That's the thing. It's like, okay, it's out. Now we need to download the video. Yeah. We need to like get everybody in the booth. We need to dub over it. Like, what? Yeah, it's so weird. It's just so hectic. It's so strange. It's probably because of like it's way harder than we fucking like believe it to be because like we're two hacks who have never done anything dub wise. I mean, it is, but also it's like I assume they're giving them two weeks because oftentimes the dub will come out like two, two weeks, weeks after. after. And if these episodes need to get delayed because it's like they're coming week to week, yeah. that leads me to believe it takes two weeks to get like a dub done. A dub and edited. But like, yeah. I feel like that's a system of the fact that like we're working on episodes like a day before they come out. Yeah. And it's like, why? It's very strange. Why are we doing that? <laughs> like, just, just put it out three just, months later. Just wait till it's done. Like, you don't need your money now. Yeah. You know, like. At the worst, it's three months later. Like, if it takes a week to make an anime episode, like, just do it three months later when the anime is done, release it next season. Fucking, who cares? Yeah, it's really weird. It's, it's just, so weird. They just want all the money. Like, yeah. having a lot of money isn't enough for, like, That's rich fair. people. They're like, like, I just need, like, listen, we need, because we have another anime coming out next yeah. season. And we're like, we're just ripping through animators yeah. right now. If they, I feel like if they just delayed every anime mm -hmm. one season, Fixed pipeline. Record of Ragnarok. Yeah. Give me, give me like a somewhat fluid animation yeah. and I'll be, I, I'll get a tattoo. Yeah. I'll get booted directly <laughs> on my chest. I don't give a shit. Yeah. It's hot. You just push every single anime back one. We have one like three month period with no new anime. Yeah. Oh no. Like. Yeah. Oh no. I have to go rewatch the yeah. Hunter Hunter. Whatever will I do? No more crunch. Like. Yeah. Give Oda a couple months off. Yeah. Like he's been working for 23 years straight. I know. Give him a breather. I know. It's That's tough. all I ask for. Okay. Yeah. And that is all I had. My best boy for this week is momonosuke what? wait should we chill out holy what? shit <laughs> you're like what do you have more we have a draft when do you want to do that i was figuring we'd do that after like best before boy? love letter okay fine yeah just that's it that's yeah. all i wanted to gotcha know. of course you're like momonosuke what what fucking what god damn you? this is co-host activities go always always <laughs> who, judging me who's momonosuke like anyone cares i absolutely do people care who is this one piece so oh. I just finished Zo. Um, Momonosuke gets revealed as like the leader of Wano. His father is Odin, and like li like everyone's like asking Odin the god. Odin the old leader of Wano. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I was like I was making the video. I was like doing a reaction. I was like Odin, like the Norse god of yeah wisdom. Is that it? Yes. I was, and then I was like, I was like, this was never my white guy hyperfixation because <laughs> yeah. I was like, you choose. Yeah. You get barbecue, IPAs, or Norse mythology as a white guy. It's like you know how there's like 48 subclasses in Baldur's yeah. Gate. We have three. Stop yeah, plugging it, Baldur's Gate. This, listen, all the Baldur's Gate talk we've done has been off screen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's just every fair. time that we fuck up the camera somehow, yeah. it's we talk about <laughs> Baldur's like, Gate to the chat. Yeah. Uh, but like that's us. Smoked meats, IPAs, yeah. and Norse mythology. And some people they get all three. Yeah. Like. A stank or incredible editor all three yeah sort of not really actually that's i've got not. none i mean i guess i do know norse mythology but mm -hmm. that's not like my bag some yeah. people make norse mythology their whole ass personality which is wild because they've it's got like, like white pages. guy like braids like love that love, love. <laughs> shaved sides yeah. like the white guy braids love, like nordic tattoo yeah. on the yeah, side yeah runes yeah. on the side of their it's head like, you are from indiana yeah like, it's like all right keep doing you g yeah uh but yeah momonosuke is like now like he's stepping up he's like telling luffy to help him um like battle against big mom well more specifically battle against kaido but they also have to battle against big mom so two of the emperors yeah so it's like I'm just now getting to like, it's so funny. I'm 780 episodes into One Piece. I feel like I'm just starting the main quest. Yeah. Like I like One Piece's first 780 episodes are you basically doing all the side quests so you can kick the living shit out of the first boss. Yeah. But like the first boss is like the final boss. Here right, Because right. like the emperors. But so like, you're off to Wano now? I'm off to Whole Cake Island where they're going to fight Big Mom. Right. And I, at least I think. I don't know. Um, they're going to fight Big Mom. And then after that, they're off to Wano. Yeah. And then that's where they fight Kaido. And yeah, so yeah. it's like, in like, there's, 
they just found a red poneglyph which tells you where the one piece is but you have to get all four of them yeah and there's one on whole cake and there's one on wano so it's like oh my god we just found the item that starts the main quest right, like that's right, literally right. it like now yeah. we need to find four of them and then we're done <laughs> and you then know? one piece and then boom we've one yeah. pieced yeah so like that's like i like momonosuke and like one piece as a whole like finally fucking starting is my best boy this week <laughs> right that's hype yeah that's super exciting it only took like a gajillion episodes oh yeah. also best boy second shout out one pace I'm nice. starting, I'm starting one, one Piece. One Piece is like all over the internet right now. Mm-hmm. I keep hearing about One Piece. It's Is nuts. it like popping off right now? Like well, what's up? It's just, it's existed for like, um, not like Explain obviously. what it is. So One Piece is like the Dragon Ball Kai of One right. Piece. So it's, but it's a fan edit. Yes. Yeah. So it's a fan edit that's like trying to match the pacing of the manga as best as possible. Yeah. So like there's a lot of scenes in One Piece where it's like, you know, two powers will clash and they'll yeah. clash and they'll be like, Arr, yeah, Arr, right, and then right. people being like, oh my God, the power. Yeah. But like all and it's of these 19 reaction shots. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They cut all of that. So they increase. Nick, silence your goddamn phone. Yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Uh, one base cuts down in yeah. Whole Cake Island alone 1,000 minutes. Oh my God. 1,000 in God. five. That's 16 ish hours. I love seeing the comments on the videos of One Piece, like compared to like the actual pace of the show. Yeah. And people just being like, God, people are such babies. The pacing isn't actually that bad. Like, get good at watching a thing, I guess. Yeah. And it's like, even it, like, you're just objectively wrong. Yeah. And it's like, so weird. It's one of these weird hills to die on. It's a very, because like, it, a slower pace doesn't. It's not better in any capacity. Yeah, it's like, even if you like... Like, you can like it. Yeah. No one's saying you can't like the slower pace. Mm-hmm. But it's worse. Yeah. <laughs> like It's just like... It's unnecessary. It's it doesn't add anything. It's watching a movie anything. in slow motion. There's no yeah. need to do it. It doesn't add anything. It's like, I made a video about Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh-huh. And, like, I was just talking about how season two is amazing. Yeah. And I was like, two show how good it is i was like i didn't like season one yeah that's all anyone cared you gotta about stop saying that i know you but really it's funny do. it's funny to me <clears throat> but it's like that it's one of those hills that's so weird to die on where it's like you can't say anything about one piece that's negative mm-hmm. without people being like even if it's like coded in positives people are like this idiot like imagine saying the pacing's bad yeah it's like who it is it's like idiots only on skype yet it's like probably because yeah. the pacing was bad like yeah, it's just like, like so like, I watched Dress Rosa, which is a yeah. hundred and thirty episodes. It could have been sixty yeah. easily. Dress Rosa, one pace, saves you something like fifteen hundred minutes. That's insane. It's like twenty two hours. Yeah. It's like it, it's literally insane, and it's like all is all they do is cut like filler, non manga things, um, like obviously like reactions. It's just like they make the like the manga recreation. Panel for panel, basically. Yeah. And you move as fast with the anime as possible. Like, you're watching the manga, which is what an anime should be. Yeah. Like, it's what MHA is. It's what Black Clover is. And, like, yeah. those are, like, great adaptations. Yeah. So, like, it's, 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 there's no reason to hate on it whatsoever. It's, it's also not, like, the pacing is like that for, like, artistic value. Yeah. You're doing it because they have to put out an episode every week. Yep. And it's just to save time and money. And the anime and the manga have always been like very close to yeah. each other. It's like we are, we're what, uh, four days? Well, we're going to be way closer when this episode comes out, but like four days from yeah. Gear 5. Yeah. Um, which is like the end of Wano, basically. Right. But like it's going to be Gear 5 for five fucking, or six weeks, I think. Yeah. Like it's going to be six weeks of the battle. Oh in my Gear, God. It, which happens like, once Luffy activates gear five in the manga, and, and it's like, like a chapter. Yeah it's, yeah. it's like a chapter or two, you know, yeah. and that's literally it. But like, it's going to be like dragged out into a bunch of different episodes. And that's why everyone's like being like, all right, it's weird to be this hyped about it. Cause like you have six weeks of yeah. gear five. Like, <laughs> right. you, like you're going to have time to like consume it. So like yeah. Wano is what one pace is currently working on. They're like not fully done with it, but like, I'm just going to down. You just download a 22 hour video. And that 22 hour video is the entirety of the whole cake Island arc. And you, yeah. just, you just watch. Yeah. It's that's fucking great. awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. And you just hit play. And then you yeah. just like watch at like a significantly faster pace. And I can like catch up way faster. Thing is I've been doing Nick shirtless, sweaty one piece updates for like a year. Yeah. And like, I obviously I, there's weeks I don't work out and all of that, but I work out four to five times a week for right. two hours a day. Yeah. Like, like I look, I, I've been watching one piece physically as fast as I could. Yeah. Right, right, right. So I need, like, I, it's to, a lot. It's a lot of shit. Like it's a, it's lot a of shit. it's a ton to watch. And again, it's just like, 
nothing. Like yeah. you're just wait, literally like truly wasting mm -hmm. 22 hours potentially yeah. of just reaction shots. Or just like Luffy running. Yeah. Like yeah. Luffy, like, like I swear to God, One Piece sometimes is a fucking running simulator. It's just like, like even like some of the greatest arcs in the anime, like Marine Ford yeah. is just Luffy fucking running. That's <laughs> it. It'll just be like, Luffy be like, oh no, Ors Jr. And then he'd be like, oh no, White Beard. And they'd be like, oh no, my brother. Yeah. And it's just him running the entire time. And then like, Dress Rosa, he just hops on a bull and he's running for like, it's like season three of Attack on Titan, but for 22 episodes, yeah. he's just running towards a destination. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I couldn't imagine <laughs> watching this weekly. That's tough. I couldn't. Like, I know, yeah. When when it comes out weekly, it feels like nothing. Like, yeah. that's what's so hard about, like, that's what makes Attack on Titan, like, a must binge yeah. for me is, like, when you're watching it weekly, I'm like, God, that was it? Mm -hmm. Like, that's it? <laughs> like Nothing happened. Yeah. To be fair, though, to One Piece and everybody hyped about it, mm. again, we're nowhere near Joy Boy yeah. um, or Gear 5, but, like... I saw the clip, like the to be continued bit where mm -hmm. like his hair starts getting goopy and he like smiles and yeah. it's like, that's hype. I can understand. That's hype. I can like, understand. And then the to be continued like pops up and I'm like, oh, oh, yo, ooh, goopy, goopy, goopy Luffy next episode. Should we, should we ask our fans if we can watch it? Uh, stop. Why are you like coming at people this episode? <laughs> You're insane. Stop doing this. You're coming at everybody, including me. Stop with your sweets. <laughs> okay. I'm going to kick you off your podcast if you keep please. this up. Should we do should we your best boy? Who is it? Uh, Wolf's Reign. Okay. Fucking rules. Yeah. Wolf's Reign fucking rules. It fucking Or my sick. name isn't Lolog Foglio Scompy. Um, stop hijacking my. Why? <laughs> I wanted us to do a thing together. <laughs> we gotta hold hands next time. I, I, oh, we, yeah. If our arms were long enough to do this, we wouldn't be. We wouldn't be interesting enough to have a podcast. Um, because <laughs> yeah. we would be tall. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fair. Yeah. Now you're coming for short kings. What's no, wrong no, 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 with no. you? I'm saying short kings are yeah. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean the podcast. The oh, short kings pod. Oh yeah, because they watch our podcast. Yeah. yeah. Um, but Wolf's Rain is sick. Wolf's mm -hmm. Rain is so good. It's this adult swim anime from like 2003. Oh, but just the peak of animation. It, well, it's one of those anime like uh, Cowboy Bebop where like for no reason, like in tone, it's very similar to Cowboy Bebop, mm -hmm. but also for no reason, every episode is like movie quality animation, but like of the era, yeah. you know, it's not like better than Demon Slayer. Of course. But it's not like one like old one piece yeah where there's no like there's no like reaction shots there's no like a still image just slowly panning up with yeah. lines like all like i'm it's stunning animation of the time yeah and it's about in the in the 200 years in the future or something okay. so 2020 or like, oh god so many twos far, far in the future mm -hmm. uh wolves are extinct so oh no I don't have to explain to you why that makes it a post-apocalypse. <laughs> that's, and, and, and that's it? That's, that's it, and that's why. That's the whole... In, in the future... Society has broken down. In the future, wolves are extinct, and therefore murder is legal. <laughs> like, that's... They were like, the wolves were the one thing. Wolves were the dam that, like, was holding society from, like, rushing <laughs> on to, like a, like, a small village. It's so funny, and it's like, people are so touchy about wolves. Like... It's so it's like written by a fourth grader, but yeah. also I love it and it's sick. So it's like it's like the first episode, which is all I've seen on mm -hmm. Daniel's thing is like, you know, a guy's in a bar and he's like, he me like, fuck I miss wolves yeah he like he like <laughs> mentions wolves he's like he mentions something about wolves and he's the bartender's like wolves why I haven't heard about those in 200 years and he's like cleaning something out and the other guy's like wolves are bastions of hell and he's like all right chill guys just just wolf talk just here wolf, like, just, yeah. just talk about wolves over here and then it like and then it goes to like a bunch of people find a big dog like dead under a tree and they're like what's that some kind of dog i ain't never seen a dog like that and you're wait like, so you're telling me wolves are gone yeah still have dogs they have dogs so they it's dogs. just it's just wolves. it's just wolves oh my fucking God. and they find a big big dog and they're like i ain't never seen a dog like that before and i'm like that's a wolf. That's a wolf. That's a wolf, and baby. Like he's like, like, oh no, we don't have wolves. Still have huskies. It's so still have funny. Malamutes. Like what? It's so funny. Well, also the wolves that are around mm -hmm. transform into people. 
So they're people. So they're werewolves. There's a name for that. They're like werewolves, but it's like not like are. They're werewolves. Fully werewolves. But they, yeah. but just a dog, like just a wolf, like not a big like wolf human. Have you thing. not seen Twilight? It's like Twilight. It's Twilight. And it's like it's so funny because they're so proud and melodramatic about it where they'll do like a shot of like a it'll be like a wolf like goes up to another guy who is a wolf but like he's in his human form okay and they're like talking and then the camera will pan around the wolf and when it comes back the guy is now a wolf but then it cuts and he's a guy again and it's like it's a metaphor he's metaphorically a wolf so it's like they're just showing you that at one point he could be a wolf. yeah yes so, so not only is there still dogs yeah but there are people who can turn into wolves yes so wolves aren't gone <laughs> there are wolves for, are fully still there, there. Are for sure wolves yeah, like, in the first episode i've seen like four wolves yeah, it's like, <laughs> they're like oh I, I miss wolves meanwhile yeah. there's just people wolves are just people now <laughs> it's so funny because it's like i read the premise where it's like in the future in the post-apocalyptic future mm -hmm. wolves are extinct and i was like motherfucker do we have wolves now even <laughs> like I've never seen one in person I, I haven't been keeping up like yeah. i don't know <laughs> dude i feel like honestly if wolves disappeared and humans could turn into wolves yeah that would be utopia for yeah. a lot of people that's hardly reason for a post-apocalypse you know how happy the furries the furries would be yeah. they would be like oh my god i can lose yeah. the suit they'll be like oh just furries now yeah, <laughs> like, like it's literally. just furries are real yeah like i can yeah. skip so many steps you i'm like giving you wolf's reign for homework if we do another game <sighs> Because listen, no, we should. You'd love it. Maybe we have a vote on who wins this next draft. No, because then we'll, we'll, they're just gonna vote against me because they want me to watch Wolves Rain. We'll see. I would give. I you, don't know if okay. anyone's seen Wolves Rain. Well, here's the thing: if, if yeah. you lose, your homework up next is the first season of Sao. Okay. Yeah. Bastard. It's good. Bastard. It's very oh oh Fair. you're signing me up to watch Bastard. 12 episodes of like I miss the fur. It's so good. It's so sick. Is I, SAO. I implore everybody at least watch one episode of Wolf's Rain. It's mm -hmm. on Crunchyroll. It's so nuts. The theme song mm -hmm. is fucking hilarious. Oh yeah. It's like the it it's so Just super cuts of wolves howls up to like like the Evanescence song. Like, what is it? Save me? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. You're right. No way. It's like that, but like a Matchbox 20 song. Because it's like, it kicks in and it's rain. It's raining and like a wolf silhouette. And then it goes, change. Like it's a full American song. Of course it is. And it's like, so, oh, Nick, I love it. It's so good. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'll yeah. watch it if I, if I lose a thing. Yeah. But should we talk about our flashbacks here? Sure. So my flashback this week. There's not like a lot of anime news going on. I actually had a lot last week. Uh, yeah. But my news is I'm going to Anime NYC yeah. in November. Uh, I am out there with Jazzwares who make like Squishmallows and yeah. all of that. Um, they want me out there for panels and guest appearances and content and all of that. That scared me. Uh, and so I'm going to be in Anime NYC November, I think, 19th to 20th first or something like that it's like the third weekend of november it's a week it's the weekend before thanksgiving yeah. that's when i'm going to be in anime nyc so if you're going to anime nyc or you live in the new york area and you want to come meet me i'm going to be in new york in november and that's very far from here but i'll see you then that's super hype yeah that's super cool is it just like you're just the guest like they want me in on a panel because they have like some sneaky on a squish mallow panel yeah, like or? sort of yeah like gotcha. they have like big announcements for like what they like they like just got the license i'm i don't know why how are much you the is. squish mallow spokesman it's not necessarily that yeah it's jazz wares make squish mallows. it's just like that's like me saying gotcha. Hasbro made right, the ouija right. board you know it was like um they did they fully did <laughs> just um, what a pull i know right yeah um but jazz wares just got like a licensing to a ton of anime so they're oh, gonna start releasing a ton like, of anime toys whoa. and some of those might be squishy 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 so that's like so i'm out there to be like oh my god look at all these yeah. new jazzware anime yeah. things you're there to be like they're big and they're squishy and, and machine washable <laughs> yeah like as like i'm literally like the biggest squishmallow proponent like yeah. all of the all of the pillows on my couch are squishmallows that's so. so sick i know i'm very wow. stoked i'm excited yeah i'll go i'll go and see you yeah yeah i mean you live like in connaticut so you can like yeah also maybe go i'll home. go visit home yeah. oh i can meet your dad finally me and yeah, I guess. Yeah. I guess you could meet my dad. I would love to meet your father. I wonder if he knows I have a podcast. I don't think so. I don't know. He thinks you should write 
for SNL. Yeah, my dad watched my Black Butler video today mm. and called me and he was like, you know, you should send some of these videos to like SNL and maybe you could get a comedy writer job. And I was mm. like, yeah, I'm going to hold the hand Lorne Michaels, my flash drive. Of yeah. My Black Butler silly goof along. Yeah, it's like, what like, do you want from me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm like, yeah, it's like, it's just funny that it's like, uh, it's like, hey, have you tried being successful with this? It's when people are like, oh, you should talk about this. Like, they yeah. come up to me like, oh, you should talk about, oh, this new comic book came out. Yeah. I was like, I do understand yeah. how much work needs to go in. And like, also, no one gives a shit about yeah. my opinion on when that. When I like, came in today and was like, you should make Baldur's Gate videos. No, 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 no. Like, but like, you understand. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like the, the Venn diagram between like anime and video right. games yeah. is basically a circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I'm just up to my eyeballs. But it's like, my mom would be like, my mom would be like, you and your sister should make a podcast. Like you're, you guys are so funny when you're together. And I was like, what the fuck would we so talk good. about? Like, yeah. no, like, yeah. we're not going to do that. Who's your, what's your flashback? I guess I don't remember if I plugged that I'm also at a con mm -hmm. and boy, oh boy, do I not have anime news. Okay. But I'm going to be at Colossal Con East um, in September. Way sooner than mine. Yeah. Very soon in Pennsylvania, Colossal Con East, uh, September 9th to the 11th. Never forget. Never forget. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to slide down the highest water power yeah. for for America. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it is at a water park, mm -hmm. which is hype. That's, um, uh, I love that. I don't know. Here's the thing yeah. about it. I asked them, like, what I'd be doing. Mm -hmm. And so they haven't, like, said, like, fully what's up. But, like, I really hope I'm on a panel with, like, other people because I don't think I'm enough Why would they for put my own panel. I would hate. Oh, could you imagine? Can I? Could imagine you imagine like sitting down me. for a panel and it's just like an empty water park? You're like floating in the wave pool and it's like, all right, guys, who's ready? And there's just nobody there. I'm like in the wave pool, I drop the mic, just electrocute everyone. <laughs> Hundreds dead. <laughs> Sorry, eight dead. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing we put Danny there. Yeah. But like, well, so they're like, I'm at, a, I'm on a panel and they want me there like all four days, mm -hmm. and they're like. I'll have There's going to be so many sunburnt <laughs> fucking cosplayers. Yeah, but they'll oh be like, my God. They're like, I'll have a booth to like sign things and like do a meet and greet with. I know that's what I'm saying. And I, I don't want to. I don't want that. I don't want to email being like, hey, I'm not that big. Because yeah. then like who wants to hear that from their guests? I genuinely like I don't know if my ego could like a panel like like do like, like booth signing yeah. for like a couple hours. I don't know if my ego could do it. <laughs> like obviously like, like waiting for like one or two people to come be like so were you in like like attack on titan or something i'm like no <laughs> i'm like yeah i'm armin here yeah, let like, me say i would just lie i would literally just <laughs> like lie a bunch of like armin shit and yeah. when security's not around i like hang a big thing being like <laughs> i'm the voice actor of a no sketch yeah it's like that's me and everyone's like yeah. you do not look like oh what's his name like bryce whatever bryce yeah. pembroke or yeah, something. something like that yeah. like it's like uh michaela does a bunch of that stuff yeah. at like all of the conventions but like that's because her she voiced toff yeah and like people see a photo of toff and they're like you did that like that's yeah. it and it's like what are the what are they gonna show on your <laughs> on your panel like on your banner it's yeah. like your reaction to like skate the infinity <laughs> yeah. like the thumbnail like what do we do well it's funny because i they were like sending a bio and i was like okay my bio is like two sentences mm -hmm. where i'm like i yell about anime on youtube yeah. like come see me at colossal con and then under me it's like the next guest and it's gray griffin who voices azula, azula? yeah and also like every Everyone? other female and everything and it's just this paragraph oh my god oh uh the voice actor for lucy from edge runners will be there oh the american god. one jesus christ i'm so sorry yeah yeah Listen, me maybe too. maybe they'll just place you next to gray and people will be like well this guy's got yeah. no line you know? yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll, I'll get a sign yeah you know? or come yeah <laughs> come and see me please visit him at colossal god yeah please it can't be my family and like three friends from high school no, oh, <laughs> like, like having like having other people see me sit there and be like yeah things are going good like have yeah. your mom be like it's okay i would kill yeah. myself i swear to god they'll be like so like what's your favorite anime and i'll yeah. be like i like this gay one about skateboarding <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. and they're like all right all right that's enough out of you <laughs> fucking get off the stage all right up next ron perlman yeah like, <laughs> literally like yeah gray's coming up yeah yeah, yeah ron perlman would be like i know where all of you live yeah <laughs> we gotta kill bob <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got 
I've been to his house. I know the entrances and exits. <laughs> yeah. All right. So today, me and Danny have a draft. Uh, we haven't done a draft in a while because like we've just been like running super long accidentally. I feel like yeah. today we're probably running long, but like I want to do this draft. So Danny has a little known series known as trying to find the hardest punch in anime. Uh-huh. So today's draft is going to be not the hardest punch, but the hardest hits in anime. Little wiggle room. Yeah. And since you're a professional in this, I'm going to go ahead and go first. Okay. Because I feel like you have an inherent advantage. You're done. Because you you're have like, done you have like a 40 part series on TikTok yeah. about like the hardest punches. Yeah. So up first, uh, I'm going to take this one. You probably wouldn't have taken this one, but like I'm going to take it. Uh-huh. Benny Maru versus the Demon Infernal. The you're screwed. Abs- you're screwed. Absolutely. One of like one of the best sounds happens in Fire Force a lot and also in yeah. Fate. That like boom, that like yeah. distortion sound. Incredible. Is this hardest punch or most painful? Just hardest, hardest hit. Okay, because that's different. Mm. Because here's the thing. Okay. When I did my like series on most painful punch in anime history. Yeah. Everyone was like, Benny Maru, like do that one. Yeah. That one, no pain involved. Your whole fucking back is blown out You're of You're dead your, immediately. Yeah. Whole, whole back, dead. Okay. We can, let's say, I mean, I feel like both. I feel like that's. <sighs> okay, here we go. I'm mm-hmm. going to set, I'm going to set a little bar here. Okay. I'll do a Gohan punching a fucking person out of cell. You remember? Go on punch cell so hard he vomits back up Android 18. You're right. That shit looks so painful. Oh my god. Dude I forgot threw it. up a whole human. <sighs> Cell's there like coughing up this woman. He's like, I didn't even know I could do that. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know she was still in there. I thought she was digested. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I, my stomach should have been descended. That's like imagine eating just a chicken breast. Someone punches you, you cough up a whole live goose. That You're is- like, I didn't know that could happen. <laughs> I made life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, I'm going to go with um, Gone using Jaja Ken Rock on Pito's face after he booted her in the air. Uh, so after he kicked her up and then when she came down, punched her in the face. Yeah. Uh, he melted her entire yeah. face. That See, that's a good one because the face on that person mm-hmm. looks like just a fucking jack-o'-lantern that went through the wash. Absolutely. <laughs> like, it's two weeks after like Halloween. Like yeah. the, the, You have to like scoop it off your front porch with a shovel pumpkin. Yeah disgusting um i'm gonna go with um luffy punching bellamy the first time oh thank god okay good, good just good, just good, good. Ter- why because you got the second time no 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 no. just keep just keep going okay just like the face it's always the face for me because mm-hmm. of bellamy one is just so cocky like bounces all over yeah luffy just hits him just a regular normal punch yeah whole face just like is now luffy's glove yeah but yeah, Luffy turned Bellamy's face into like a Play-Doh. Like, mm. like you just press it on a newspaper and like you have the ink. Yeah. yeah. And like without like using like gum gum pistol or anything. Yeah. Just, just like, hit him. Just a just punch. Just fucking hit him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I gotta say one of the better punches in anime is my number three pick. Yeah. United States Smash. It's just. Which, which? Uh, against uh, all for one. Yeah. Like when he like loses, when one for all loses, when all might loses his powers yeah. against all for one and just like United <laughs> Spades of Smash. Like also just like one of the better voice acting moments in like anime history. Yeah. So easy. That's fair. That's good. That's a mm. big, just a big punch. Big punch. I'll do um, earlier. You were like, is there anyone from Naruto? Mm-hmm. Can't believe you didn't think of any. How about the one of Naruto punching the fucking pupils out of Sasuke? Oh my god. How about when Naruto turns Sasuke into George Takai? I forgot <laughs> about that, dude. He literally rocked his irises out. That or Gara or that or uh Rock Lee kicking Gara so hard he dabs. That's also that's a he literally <laughs> Like literally <laughs> rocks his shit. I love Naruto hit it, punching Sasuke because mm. of that he gives a look where he's like, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. Oh my god. Like, I, you made me such a good lunch and I'm gonna throw yeah. it up. He's like, ooh, Bobby. <laughs> not to mention he also punches him into the air. Just does a fucking aerial combo on him. So like, nuts. All right, number four. I'm you said Luffy and I got really nervous about this, yeah. but you're not far enough. You're not at Saba Odi. Luffy versus the Celestial Dragon. Yeah. Luffy punches Just a man. Just a big bonk. He punches him so hard. He oh. punches him into the manga. Yeah, punches the color straight out punches of that guy. Punches the color yeah. out of the universe. <laughs> yeah. It's insane. That's a very good one. Also, after like weaving two bullets and then just. Bah! Yeah. Yeah. Just like liquefies that guy's head. So good. Um, I've got uh, Saitama versus Sonic. It's a nut punch. Yeah. It's a. It's and a- case closed. Yeah. 
just you just see his sack like we form around his it fist. It makes me so uncomfortable to this day. Just like the slow roll of his yeah. nut sack spreading it's on his horrible because you know that's one of those punches that like at first he's like okay I'm fine I don't really feel that that's okay maybe, maybe it doesn't actually hurt no uh, huh? no 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 one of those ones you feel in your lower stomach <laughs> yeah, it just I'll, creeps up in your lungs I had Dorothy accidentally nut tapped me like a week ago and I was like I'm gonna I this is like subject to murder I swear to god it was, <laughs> was so bad I was like on a date with a girl in like mm. freshman year of high school she like threw a crab apple at me for some reason what? Like, hit me in the dick and I was like <laughs> I was like Marietta, we have approximately 15 seconds before I go into cardiac arrest. Here's what I need you to do. <laughs> I, need, I, have a, I have adrenaline in my back. Inject yeah. it into my lower back, please. Yeah, it's like, here's what, need to hap- what needs to happen. It's okay. Just become, become, oh, oh, okay. Here's what you got to do. No, 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 no. Oh. Your legs just begin to liquefy. It's just, like- just starts burning. You're like, I won't have kids. I won't have kids. That's okay. <laughs> I'll do anything, God, please. Here we go. I All think right. we have one more. My last one, Gojo versus Miguel, just the entire thing. Most likely, uh, like, the hardest la- like hit out of all, like, <laughs> Gojo during his combos against Miguel at one point just fucking slaps him. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, that's, it may not hurt, but it hurt his ego. Yeah. Like, it's just the level of, like, I've been checked to be open palm slapped <laughs> by Gojo and do nothing about yeah. it. That's disrespectful. For someone to go from closed fist to slap That's mid the combo. Thing. It's like punch, punch to yeah. like, fuck you. It's almost like a taunt. Like, yeah, literally. It's like, all right, this is obviously yeah. doing too much. Boom, 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 bitch. Boom, boom. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, I got to go with another Dragon Ball one. I got to go with Android 13 punching Goku directly in the balls. Mm. Do you remember? Because here's the thing about this nut punch. Yeah. Is Goku's hitting him with these combos. Android at 13, not affected, grabs his ankle, lifts it up, punches him <laughs> right in the cock just once. And I'm pretty sure there's a little impact frame, like yeah. where it does a little effect, where you see his testicles break. <laughs> like, for sure, that it's like happens. It's ray and MK. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, I think in Team Four Star, they, like, erased yeah. everybody. It was, like, his children got, like, erased <laughs> yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just, like absolutely devastating to sit there like that's like if a child comes up to you and is like throwing a temper tantrum and then you're like are you done lift his leg up (laughs) uppercut him in the scrot walk away enough yeah that's a good that's a good list should we do homework based on who wins the draft sure you want to do that i would do that okay so hardest hits if i will do a poll yeah if if danny wins i watch wolf rain if i win danny watches sao yeah I like that. Yeah. Those are good. good. Those are good consequences. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now that brings us to our love letter section of the podcast where the live viewers of the podcast, the lovely people who have become YouTube members, get to ask us a question and we answer it live. And if you guys want to ever ask us a question live, you become a YouTube member and watch me and Danny stumble through a podcast. We've already taken, what, three breaks today. So, yeah, today we're going to so hungry also at mm-hmm. one point i like pointed at you and i was like this and i was like i gotta calm down <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta get burger king in my system immediately yeah, like- uh but okay so we're gonna go check the questions and i'll be back okay so panama <laughs> asks what's a moment from an anime that saved the anime for you i think we'll stay topical for me okay toji being introduced in Jujutsu Kaisen. Because historical to- disliker of season one. Of course. Yeah. Toji showing up in just like clinically breaking down Gojo. Yeah. Awesome. Like immaculate. That was so good. And then it just helps that like this whole season is like just a way cooler vibe for me than season one was. Like better direction, better art sound, better like art period. Yeah, like better music. Like, mm-hmm. but like when toji like the moment the moment specifically when gojo was like all right now i just gotta predict his next move wait no he's going for that girl yeah and then he just shows up behind him like him just breaking gojo psychologically Mm -hmm. i was like this rules you know what also can i give one more in jujutsu kaisen please if we want to go even earlier Mm -hmm. when the girl in the first episode figures out that they're not in a loop they're in a linear thing yep I was like, oh, we're getting a little clever, aren't we? Absolutely. We're getting, we're getting a little smart now, are we? Yeah, Utahime in May May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's yours? I love that. I love that we're getting JJK love. Uh, mine is, it's it's a bit more abstract, 
but like the entirety of part two of SAO allyization. Um, like, so like, it's like 12 episodes. It's like, so allyization, I think is 24 episodes. The first 12 episodes are fine. They're actually, oh, yeah. they're pretty bad. Uh, but the first, the last 12 episodes are like, they're do all like the like sound designs. <laughs> right? Like they have like these massive, like wide sweeping attacks. The animation is incredible. It's like the biggest scale we've ever seen combat in SAO. And like SAO kind of like, he trips up after season one because the mangaka was his first manga. He had no idea what he was doing. Rip like one of the best isekais of all time. And then everyone was like, what are we doing now? Right. And then he was like, I, I don't know. We're going to go back to the world. And now we're elves. And like, it's like, and so I was a huge SAO fan for the longest time, but I was like, got to allyization. I was like, I have no passion for this show anymore. Like I'm watching it to keep up with it. And then we get to season two of allyization. And I'm like, this is better than season one. Yeah. I was like, we're fucking back Hell in the yeah. biggest way and it was so <laughs> Hell nice to, yeah it was so nice to like have that love of the show again right yeah well that's what it like the best part about moments like that is that it like it, it like opens up a whole world for you yeah. like that's what i feel about jujutsu kaisen where i'm like oh i can finally i can be on the train mm -hmm. i can enjoy this with everybody else now it's like realizing you like Naruto and being like, oh, cool. There's 750 yeah. episodes for me to watch. It's like getting into one piece ever. Yeah, <laughs> like, literally. Like when you finally get past the art style of one piece, you're like, oh, I yeah. can talk about this now. Yeah, just like a thousand episodes yawn before you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's like, wow, this is yeah. my personality. Am I going to tell people it's actually not that long? I think I am. Yeah. yeah. Can I do one other question? Please. Just because I have an answer. I don't know if you will, but okay. I know you'll agree. Okay. So uh, one of our lovely viewers asked uh, if we could have any American band perform a cover of an OP, what would it be? Oh my God. Okay. I want three days grace to do that one Naruto opening that we love. Oh, it's like, da 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 Yeah. Cause that one's already perfect. Mm -hmm. But if I had to guess, I want three days grace on that shit. That would be incredible. Get yeah. those Canadians on that cover immediately. <laughs> I got to say recently they've been doing like this vocaloid thing on TikTok where it's like anime characters singing. Oh, their openings. I've That's gotten, like, I've gotten everything from like, like Sasuke and Naruto singing Bluebird to like Luffy singing Whoa. like mariachi bo like yeah. band songs. It's really, it's wild. AI is crazy. I've seen Eric Cartman sing like I bring me those. back to life. That was actually a guy. He Oh, really? Yeah, it was a guy singing it. Yeah. He went hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was sick. It was like Plankton singing. Um, Plankton, oh, that one's also uh, good. His yeah. voice is incredible. It's, it's like, I'm begging, yeah, begging yeah. you. Really good. Yeah, and it's like, you have the perfect voice for this. If I had to have one band cover an opening, I would probably have Dance Gavin Dance cover Unravel. Um, Who and what? Uh, Dance Gavin Dance is a <laughs> punk band that's like super high energy, like okay. pitchy rock. Um, it's like pitchy punk and it is like, they're my favorite band on earth. Um, but they, their lead singers keep catching sexual assault charges. So they're on their third <laughs> singer. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So they, they, just, they just keep a cycle. You know, it's like yeah. new blood. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. You've had your five years. It's like a cursed position. <laughs> Legitimately. It's like being a drummer in, um, oh, what is it? Uh, being a drummer in Spinal Tap. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Just yeah. like he just like spontaneously combusts or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I'd have Dance Gavin Dance cover Unravel. That's a good question, though. You know, what'd be good. What? Um, you know, the first Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood theme song mm -hmm. that kind of breaks into a rap out yeah. of nowhere. Get Lincoln Park on that. Oh, they're perfect for it. Yeah. Chester would do like you know the opening, and then I, the other guy would do the yeah. rap. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Fuck, that'd be awesome. Yeah. But all right, that's everything we have this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Otaku's Anonymous. Uh, I've been Nick, also known as NC Hammer Twenty Three. Make sure you guys are following us on all the platforms like Instagram and TikTok. Um, also, go watch our AX vlog, which is out now. Um, it's a 25 minute episode of me and Danny at AX doing all the things. Uh, special guest appearances from people like yeah. Re It's Renee's Realm, uh, Stephen He, he uh, It's Dom, like so many like big content creators that we bumped into. They're all really nice. Uh, we interviewed them, we hung out with them, Chris Barnett, uh, all those people. Uh, and then also just to watch me and Danny run around AX being idiots all the yeah, time. Yeah, just goof. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Danny. Mata, yes. to be exact. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you for having me. Happy to have you here. Watch in a couple weeks, like four or five weeks, watch mm. us on Anime a la carte. Yeah. Um, my YouTube page is Danny Mata. I react to things, do commentary. Um, and yeah. In case people here didn't know who you were. 
you every time uh, you're like do your thing and yeah. i'm like you already did it i just love that you gave a rundown of what you do on your page you're what like, do I, I do at the end of these videos you just, i just hit my tag we're on like episode 30 and i don't know what to do <laughs> you still are you still not doing cold <laughs> opens either no all right well nah. we love you guys bye mm -hmm. and now for my next number i'd like to return to the class